Jared Goes to the Movies is a free podcast made possible by Rich's lack of a social life, as well as our amazing supporters. For as little as $1 a month, you can access tons of extra content each week. Visit JaredGoesToTheMovies.com and click Support Us. Enjoy the show. Hello, everybody. I'm Jared Reddick. And this is a podcast. Jarrett goes to the movies. Hopefully you have seen or heard one of my many musical endeavors. And if you have, then you know how much I love movies. This is movie commentary with no movie knowledge. This podcast is me and my friend Rich talking about movies that we like. But my name's on it because I'm famous. This is Jarrett goes to the movies. Still. Okay, we're starting now. So you're asking yourself, you're like, how is this podcast going to go? Like, because <laughs> that was the intro to it. Like, what are they possibly going to fucking talk about? Because there's no talking in this movie? Because there's no dialogue in the whole movie. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Everything is basically a, there's a little, there's a, there's some cigar smoking, yeah. a few acid trips. Yep. And then, uh, and then What's Apollo like the Creed, noise? Uh, uh, Apollo yeah. Creed. And then Apollo Creed gets choked to death, and that's it. That's the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they made a mistake right out of the box by showing us something even coming to the planet. Agreed. I, We're going to get into that. Yeah, because yeah. if you're watching it for the first time, yeah. No, I agree. that's stupid. Hi, everybody. My name is Jarrett. Welcome <laughs> Hi, Jarrett. to this podcast called Jarrett Goes to the Movies. Holy shit, what a night we've had already. Um, man, it's been crazy. We'll just jump right in because there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on, uh, well, with you. Hey, with me, as always, is Rich. Hey. Now, here's the thing. Rich said we're allowed to talk about the fact that he's still dating, but we can't specifically <laughs> talk about... And What's going on? I guess and, I should have said you can't talk about me saying that you can't talk. I about just don't understand <laughs> what yeah, that means. That. Yeah, you're always so cryptic, you, and I don't think you I, really aren't, are you? Really? I just don't understand <laughs> what the fuck that means. It's like, I, are you saying okay? So anyway, what is this? Are you banging somebody or not? No, I guess he can't <laughs> not, say it. Not banging anyone. He doesn't say that. <laughs> okay, He's then. not even banging himself. Yeah. Guess we no, can I'm, move on to the movie now. <laughs> you bang yourself earlier today. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. And and oh, let good. me ask you this. So you. You you take your lap whole laptop into the bathroom? No, no, no. That was when I was married. No, he's, oh, okay. he likes to watch on his monitors. Yeah, I got three monitors. Oh, you do the three like monitors NASA. thing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. No, he doesn't, he doesn't do Clorox that. Clorox wipes three. <laughs> No, can I his iPhone on his nose. Can like, I ask you a question about that? Person. By the way, towel. can yeah. I ask you a question about masturbating in your office? Because sure. I've actually wondered about this. <laughs> Do you take your pants completely off, or yes. you just go down to the ankles? No, no, no. no. So I you, don't like any kind of thing that generates heat touching my body. Do you have a you shirt get completely on? naked? <laughs> yeah. There's the lack While of pussy right there. So, in your office. <laughs> yeah. So you're completely naked. I'm, I'm by myself, by the way. But in an <laughs> office chair, right? Yeah. So your butthole is touching your chair. No. What do you mean? I ha I actually have a butt, so the cheeks protect. Nah, but you don't asshole. like lean back. Little, he does have a little badonk. You don't lean I have back. Some badonk. Thank you. No yeah. No, there's no spreadage. All right. Well, I'm happy that we're opening up the predator <laughs> episode with a <laughs> masturbating thing that got us well, nowhere. That's what predators do? Jared. <laughs> right. Well, I you know? here's the thing. I I was thinking to myself because yeah. I I try not to masturbate in my in my office. 
Excuse me. But if I do, I put a paper towel under me because I don't want to get butthole on my chair. <laughs> I don't here? touch the butthole to my chair. No, I don't really do it up here. I'm not that pristine about my masturbating. It just happens. Yeah, it. you know what? It oh, really yeah. do does. You, do you turn the recording light on when you're in here doing it? Yeah, that? you have a light. You just flip it on so I know like, <laughs> it not doesn't to fuck with fuck, you. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, no. In fact, I feel like that recording light draws people to the room like oh, mosquitoes. <laughs> you know, like, oh, him. fuck, I found him. Here he is. Yeah, he's not in the bathroom for once. God damn it, I wish I was in the bathroom. Bathroom. My no matter where he is, he's not wearing pants. <laughs> My lovely wife Casey is here. Hello, baby. Hello. Uh, had dinner with uh, your mom this evening. I did. Casey's mom. And uh, <laughs> how was that? It was good. Has got it going on. Uh, a new soundbite from James. She looked very nice. Did she? Casey's mom. I love that. That was That's where great. we're great at Thanksgiving. Yeah, Jerry gets an extra helping a turkey. That's right. No, wait, here's the thing. She's like three years older than me. It's, yeah. it's like, if, <laughs> oh man, we actually had to have a conversation of after me and Casey started dating. Uh, Casey had to be like, were you ever like, do you ever go see a band called Bowling for Soup or uh, yeah, is there any she said way? That she told me there's at least a 98% chance that Jarrett's not my not actual dad. her dad. Yeah. So anyway, we're good now. We did 23 <laughs> and the, me. She's like, I know it was one of the musicians from down there that got me. <laughs> right. Uh, Silent Sean is here. Silent Sean is actually having ravioli right now. And um, greetings and salutations, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny how you can talk and eat at the same time. That's fucking unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Holy shit. Now, okay, so as I get into more introductions. Also string theory. As I get into more and more introductions, <laughs> I get more excited. Now, Sweet Cheeks is here. And so, oh, so, thanks, man. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> right. Oh, God damn it. No, I'll call you something better. Uh, Sweet Cheeks, you're here. You're wearing your, uh, t- he made us all size large t-shirts tonight. Yeah. That Predator will, shirts. Th- those will fit like one person in I the room. I got three t-shirts tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's all I had. Yeah. He's, he, he looks like the guy that's fucking your wife, but your pool's not getting cleaned either. <laughs> right. He doesn't. Dude. Yeah. You, that's a good thing to put on your Tinder. You could put like, I look like the guy who's cleaning your pool, but Can I'm. you text me that later? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm, a, I'm, uh, a, I'm afraid cheeks. my chick will see it. And <laughs> yeah, yeah we're not getting your contact number. Sweet anywhere cheeks, near thank yeah, you so it. much for rescuing Jared Spear. Who, so here's the thing. Jared Spear, uh, you guys all know him, friend of the show. He's coming in for the MXPX show. And I'm like, dude, how can you come here and not do the podcast? So I tried. I'm thinking we could move it to Saturday. We can't move it to Saturday. So... Uh, he decides instead he's going to do the podcast. Then he's going to drive down and see my Carrera, my good friend, in Austin. Asia, right? and uh, now Jared, Ryan have Cabrera. you have you ever met him? Numerous times, actually. Okay, I've seen good. them like six times, and this is the third year in a row I'm seeing them on my birthday. Awesome, talking, talking love that. Now talk Sprinkle. into the mic because I was going to arrange Sorry. that, but I guess there's nothing special I can do for you. Uh, for that show, even backstage beforehand, that'd be cool. I've always what, met him after the show. What I've venue been. are they playing? Uh, Mohawk. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Now, uh, Jared, it's great to see you. I'm glad fucking here, glad as awesome. shit that you're here. Now, I have to. Uh, I just have to. This introduction is is a little insane for me. Uh, in 19, I think we figured it out during the pre-show. And by the way, if you can you can hear an hour of us. Yeah. With Lex, uh, on our bonus episodes, but you've got to be a Patreon supporter. Yep. So it's going to cost you a buck. Yeah. To go do that. 1998, I'm driving back. I'll never forget this story as long as I live. I'm driving back from Tyler, Texas. We had made it a fucking night, guys. Like, we had just... I mean, I think we left Tyler at 4.30. (laughs) I I had drank so much, I was sober. There's really nothing left to do after 11.30. That's what I'm saying. God knows what you were doing. That's what we try to tell our children, right? Like, what good happens after midnight? Well, that's when people get pregnant, Mom. Yeah, babies. Apparently. Yeah, but um, Edward, herpes. Edward's super cute, though. He is really yeah. cute, boy. Um, I <laughs> stopped in uh, in some little podunk town to get gas, and I had the radio on, and I'm flipping channels, you know, as I'm, I did the thing where, like, the key is just, like, halfway there, so it's on. I'm waiting for the thing to fill up. Somebody went in to take a piss, and I stumble upon Q102, and the Lex and Terry show is on. And I you hear one of, one of the funniest things I've ever heard in the history of radio where they were ringing the doorbell of people and then, you know, running. But it, it's the funny thing is, is this on the air? So 
I was lucky enough about eight years later to go on their show and then befriend them. We've been friends since. Uh, Lex Staley is here from the Lex and Terry show, everybody. Let's get uh, it up Yeah, absolutely. Man, I can't tell you. I'm having so, a blast, by the way. Well, this is I'm really cool. Well, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, now, we rewind just a, like a, a few weeks ago. I was on your podcast. You were. Uh, we we were just gonna, released that, by the way. That's so. right. It's out everywhere. Yeah. So uh, if you want the link, it's on all of our social media, official Lex and Terry Facebook page and uh, at Lex and Terry uh, uh, IG and uh, Twitter. Twitter and all that stuff. The, th- the cool thing about the interview is, is, is that you had you had set it down to be 45 minutes, but you had told me all of that. You and I had texted a bunch. You and I have uh, some stuff in common as far as like the last or at least for me, you know, a few years ago. Uh, went both went through crazy divorces Woo-hoo! and both have dealt with uh, some shit with some anxiety. And, oh you yeah, know, yeah we have so, a whole conversation about. So that. we talk about all of that. We put it all out there. But not only do you ask me questions, I ask you questions back. Forty five minutes turned into three hours, and we forgot to talk about the band. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, I, I felt more interviewed than he was. Uh, <laughs> I, I found out more about myself. Uh, in the first hour of that, then yeah. I knew myself. I get that a lot. Yeah. Now, um, man, I'm so happy you're here. And it just so happened that I invited you to come and be on this podcast. You're like, dude, I'll do it anytime. And I'm like, what are some of your favorite movies? The first movie you said was Predator. Oh, yeah. And it was actually on the schedule. So yeah, we I only had to move him back one week i texted rich and i go dude well, let's just get him in here yeah. for this and and i think everybody's like is he really gonna show up he's really gonna be <laughs> this. Well, he's... I, I didn't think you'd do my favorite movie of all time which is american beauty oh we would have totally yeah. done that we're going yeah. to at some yeah. point yeah that's yeah. on the calendar gonna have to come back yeah like the greatest movie ever now besides me is lex like the second fam- most well, I was, famous I was person literally in... just gonna say i think he's actually more famous than the guy from roadhouse i think he is too yeah <laughs> We, oh, so, guy from Roadhouse. So we have the we had the guy in here who ripped Patrick Swayze's heart out. No, his oh, throat. The, the, oh, guy, his throat. the guy that says I fuck guys like you in prison. I, is that, that guy? The guy? I think so, yeah. yeah, we yeah, had that, that guy, guy in, in here. here. Yeah. Oh god, it's one of my favorite lines ever. Oh, I fell but, off the couch the first time I heard that. It's like yeah. episode oh, did forty. He just say that? Yeah, he was in here, and uh, now here's the thing, Lex, about him. Uh, if you want to go back and listen to that episode, <laughs> uh, he is unaware that that movie isn't real. <laughs> so the whole time he talks about it, he's just like, well, we'd wake up in the morning, we'd tape up our ribs, and we'd just fight. we just fight, you know? And one time, then Patrick Swayze, yeah, he'd, he'd kick me, you know, he'd kick me right here in the nose or whatever. And then next day, whatever, you know, and we're, we're doing this, we're doing some choreography. I had to return the I broke two of his ribs. <laughs> and we're just like, okay, I'm not really sure that's what's supposed to happen. But, and he's like, he literally thought it was real. So we had to ask him, did you really rip his throat out? Like, is that what happened to him? <laughs> oh, fuck. You, know, you know, it's called acting. Yeah. You know, you're not Daniel fucking Day Lewis or <laughs> yeah. you know, he's he's a, a, the guy who takes a hammer to his foot so he can win an Oscar. He was a sweetheart of a guy, though. He was amazing, by the way. I do that because I'm... I'm being playful. He was so amazing, he and his really wife was. was great. Um, well, Lex, we're we're really <laughs> glad you're here, and uh, again, it's it's an honor to have you here. Terry has been such a great friend to me through a bunch of shit, and I'm so glad that you and I have gotten to be such good uh, friends. Me too, man. I, uh, and uh, I'm, again, thanks do you for live being close here. by. I, I live in Addison. He used to live little, in Prosper. Yeah, I used to live yeah. right up the street. Yeah, yeah you said the Prosper. soccer, the, the Prosper yeah. soccer. So. Yeah, he a, lived here. I when... can feel the a little bit of the orb coming off my house here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm a little upset. But You lived here when Dion lived here. I, I did. I used to see Dion all the time at the, at the uh, you know, uh, Tiger Mart up here. Yeah, because that's know? where we all go. Yeah. We still only have one store. We got a Chick-fil-A, but there's still only one store. <laughs> right. we, uh, we I do. was in there one night, and it was me, Dion, and Luke Bryan were in the. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Let me yeah. ask you this: Have you ever heard someone do a Luke Bryan impression that is so good you forget where you are? 
<laughs> no, but I would love one because he sounds like half my friends in Jacksonville growing up. All right. The so way he talks. here's the thing. Now, he, interestingly enough, Luke Bryan is in town tomorrow, and my daughter's going to go see him. And I, I said to her, I said, would you like me to call you guys while you're on the dart train and do my impression <laughs> Of Luke Bryan while you're there, and you and I could I could just impress your friends. It could be like stereo. And she said nay. Oh right? no! No, she no, said she no. Wasn't oh, weird. Into it. So I will now do. I would like to hear it. Here is Luke Bryan singing. Uh, That's my kind of night. <laughs> you can hang your shirt out on a limb, rolling on forty fives. Pretty girl by my side. All them other boys want to wind you up and take you downtown. But you look like the kind of girl that likes to way out. Where the corn rolls grow, roll, roll your boat. Dude. Yeah, that's my kind of night. Dude, if you, if you need to come guest on the show one day and when we do talk to a star. I'll just be Luke what, Bryan. We, we, do, we do a bit called yeah. Talk to a Star and we play the people... I can also oh do Howie God. Mandel. Do you watch America's Got Talent? Oh, yeah. All right. And, and he's one of the guys who, who don't. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. You say you came here tonight so that America could see you? I am so glad to tell you America saw you, and now they're going to vote. <laughs> you may not watch that show. If that you... fucking impression is yeah. spot on. That's we watch it a lot. All right, it's I got close. a good one. You want to hear it? Yeah. All right, Stone Cold Steve Austin on on Redneck Island. Oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go on out there. You're going to take that barrel. You're going to throw it down there. You're going to jump over it. Then you're going to get in the water, and you're going to go back here on the raft. <laughs> it's called go out there, jump over the barrel, get on the raft, and come back here. <laughs> I'm so not. Good. I mean, it's it's the best. I, I, I'm what so is that? Sad is that, that a show? Over. Is that a show? Yeah, that it was, was on sh- for three years. It Holy was, it shit! Was... Now um, we are here doing a podcast. I've now introduced everyone. We've gone on a couple of tangents, and maybe we should now take care of a little bit of business so we can get into this fucking amazing motion picture. Jarrett's <laughs> opening a bill. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't make me like you, pool boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, actually, I know he, I'm going to come home and find you one Actually, day. he grows yeah, on you, yeah. and then he'll fuck it up. Yeah. That's fucked up. He, <laughs> wears, he, wears, he wears bathroom, bathroom like, air spray as cologne. <laughs> now, I can already tell. I already, I already tell I can hang with this guy anytime. He's the fucking best. Yeah, he, we he, love he, sweet cheeks. You know, you know Taint on the show. He he's got a lot of that. In is the, Taint still on the show? It, Taint does. Taint still does stuff on the show from time to time, but he's like growing up now. You know, he's like in his thirties. So is he there in the eighties? Yeah. Because that sounds familiar. Yeah. Yeah. First. Taint was yeah. not there in the eighties. I mean, not the, not in the 90s. And, 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 no, Taint was later, and then but Taint. Well, I did listen to them in the second time. Also. Okay, so like after they came back in two thousand six. Yeah. Taint was around shortly after that, but he would come to every Bowling for Soup show. He yeah. always brought chicks. And Taint's like, epic. Yeah, he, he's 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 one of the, one of the most fun people ever. Yeah, great know? guy. And uh, we we do a bit with him right now called Ten Dollar Lie, where he gets people to he hands them the phone at like seven in the morning. He's like, I've been out all night. You know, just tell her. You know, uh. and, you know <laughs> and and Sarah's on the other end. You know, they hand it. And she's like, Where? Who were you with? And were there girls there? And so you know, and these the homeless guys are like, Yeah, man, we were just chilling out. There were no <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've never had to pay anybody ten dollars ever. You know, they'll, they'll lie their ass off for him. He, he, he get, he, he's that guy that gets people to lie for him. That you know, is much like you, I'm sure. What yeah. the fuck? Again, yeah. we're talking yeah. about uh, he sounds more like me, actually. Lex is on the Lex and Terry show. You can actually grab their app and listen to them anytime. They're on 14, 15 radio stations uh, yeah. in the country, and, and they're on the internet. Just it, You just probably do. already do listen to them. You probably do. Just do it again. My, one of my I'm favorite, so sick of them. One of my favorite bits that you guys ever did was when you would send D to like a Walmart or something. Oh, we still do it. Page it, game. No. Oh. When are you due? Oh, it, yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. And he would just walk up to, like, random women, and he'd just be like, hey, how's it going? You know, oh, uh, you know, and, yeah, I'm looking for this. Or oh, and when are you due? <laughs> oh, my God. And they would just be like, well, I'm, I mean, just... I mean, so, some of the girls are like... <gasps> 
Yeah. You just hear this. <gasps> it's it's definitely like I played an opposite game when I was pregnant. I was very very tiny before I got pregnant, so I was very clearly pregnant. And people would come up and go, "Oh my gosh, how far along are you?" And I would just like just it's, far enough it's to fine. shoot you in the fucking face. It's yeah. fine. It's it, it's yeah. not a big deal. But I, it's just a I, I just have a thing. Everybody does it. Don't worry. But no, I'm not pregnant. And they'd be like. Boo! Yeah. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Yeah. It happens. All, it happens all the time. Don't worry. It's you know, just it's a one thing. of those tumors with hair and teeth in it. They're exactly. Gonna take it up. That's a great yeah. way to get kicked yeah. in the nuts. I don't too. know if you've seen that video, but it's not similar to that. But like the guy goes to the store and he puts like hot dog wieners in people's pockets, and people they'll film, and they'll, people will be walking around and they're like. And he'll, oh, he'll put it or, like literally, he'll just like put sneak. Sneak hot dogs in people's pockets. Reverse pickpocket yeah. hot dogs. That's awesome. You know how it is, though? Like, anytime you have something on you and you're in a crowd and you wish it wasn't or whatever, like, like say there's like... like an ugly girl? Get mm. that, yeah. but but oh. I'm more talking about, like, say you're in a crowd, you don't know anybody, and, like, a bug flies in your hair, and then you get it, and you've, like, got it, and you don't want to freak out, so you're, like, trying to be cool. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, having a fucking hot dog in your pocket? <laughs> like, what are you yeah. doing? How do you and casually you're just, just like drop the hot dog? The fucking, I mean, I would eat it. So he does that, but he also does like pickles too, like cold, wet pickles. I would not eat that. Also, by the way, hide the pickle. That's a game for married people. <laughs> All right, uh, I do want to say thank you to everybody who listens to this program. We love you guys so very much. I do need to remind you guys this is a Matt Cardosi and Daniel Cotton production. Daniel Cotton did indeed forget once again that he was supposed to be on five questions. <laughs> Isn't that three times now? So, yeah, maybe yeah. so. Now, Jared Spear. It is Spear, 2, 3 a.m. right now. Jared Spear was an yeah. hour late getting here. Mm -hmm. So, he is here. Uh, but here's the thing. Who gives a shit? Right. Right? <laughs> we'll just figure it out as we go. We'll figure it out. All right. I want to say this. All of our producers are Patreon supporters. If you want to support our show... Why not do it? It costs a dollar a month. That gets you outtakes. Five dollars a month gets you the archive, archive of outtakes. Ten dollars a month gets you a Google Hangout. And twenty dollars and up. Twenty dollars, we say your name every single week. Now, here's the best part about it. <laughs> if you just support us for a dollar, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. For a month, not per show, a month. So four or five right. shows. Okay. Right. Stick with me, Rich. I'm with you. You get a 20% discount on merch. So let's say I support us for a dollar. Right. Then I buy a shirt. Shirts are $20. I right. save $2. Holy. I just made, you made fucking money. money. You fucking That's right. made money. So this is a profit deal, guys. Please support our show. Our new supporters do include $20 supporter, Mr. Nick Brigoni. Josh Millman has upped his pledge from $20 you fucking fifty dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Five Questions, Josh Millman, <laughs> and the new owner of this podcast. <laughs> no, actually, oh. those are Matt Cardosi and Daniel Cotton who they do a hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. Daniel's a dick and stole it. Before. All <laughs> right, so executive producers are Ashley C, Wendy Croft, Matt Cardosi, David Murray, David Dooley, Rodon James, Daniel Cotton, Lucy Murray, Jared Spear. He's right over there, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Diane yeah. Small, John Gickler, Lisa Winsel. Steelers, Katie Morgan. I'm glad you got a Roomba. Greg Pascal, <laughs> Shawnee Mae Griffiths, Josh Millman, Mark Ryan, Tyler J. McCullough, Svee Hurst. Svee Hurst. God damn it. Svee Hurst. <laughs> Jason Randall. The Chris Jacobs, Mike Breton, Brian Dunning, Paul Balms, Amy Pitzinger, Jason Wall, Bodie Cooper, Woody Chambers, Kirsty Fisher, Don Petretta, Michael Price, Simone Vark, who did not quit the, the podcast. podcast. So, and uh, Gina, it's it Gina or Jenna? Gina. Jenna Gail Hell, who just fucking changes her name all the time. Yeah. But if you, dude, become well, her, daughter, her daughter's name is Haley. Do she me a favor. Say Haley and if you if you want to be entertained, become a ten dollars supporter and get on the Google Hangout when Jenna is there, <laughs> and it, it's worth the ten bucks. It actually is one hundred percent. Brian <laughs> Mason <laughs> and is that, Nick. Is that who you go in the restroom to, Rich? <laughs> <laughs> and no. Nick. Brigoni, thank you guys so very much for being supporters. Uh, just go to patreon.com and search Jarrett Goes the Movies or just go to jarrettgoesthemovies.com. This week we're talking about the the uh, the movie the uh, it's not the. We're talking about the movie Predator. Now, here's the thing. 
I don't think I realized until just now that this movie happened in 1987. Yeah. It makes a lot more sense now. Oh, okay. As to what the fuck you I just watched. You thought it was a 90s movie? You know what, though? The CGI was wasn't watching. bad for 87. I, it was I, great for 87. I agree for 87. Yeah. Um, I do think differently about it, but to me, this movie's a fucking comedy. Uh, <laughs> totally. It's 107 minutes. Well, I feel like a douche now that I read my notes. I really had like some really uh, intricate takes about You gotta this. fucking no, you give to us fucking all that shit. That's right. why you're here, Lex. Oh, yeah, so you can fucking laugh at me no, when I leave? Yeah, just, no, it's yeah. because we want to... I see to, you laughing, pool boy. We need that insight. <laughs> <laughs> we need that yeah. insight. Ladies and gentlemen, Predator, a team of commandos on a mission in Central America junk... So, God damn it! Hold on. Uh, <laughs> a, team of, a team of commandos on a mission in a Central American jungle... Can I add filled with Russians? <laughs> Find themselves hunting. Which, which, by the way, I can't believe that's even in there because they're in there for a cup of coffee. Exactly. You know, and, you're, and they don't even look like fucking Russians. No. They look like, you know, Hispanic And dudes. then they died. Yeah. They okay. find themselves hunted by an extraterrestrial warrior. Got that's it. a fucking goddamn good synopsis. A little wordy, but right. It's not. No, it got wordy. Do you want me to do it again and just me do it? Yeah, okay. Really Here we go. All right, a team of commandos on a mission <laughs> in a Central American jungle find themselves hunted by an extraterrestrial warrior. Oh, yeah, you added all the words. That's yeah. almost as yeah, good as Groundhog good. Day. Eh, not as good what? as, but Groundhog almost. Day is still the winner, right? Yes. Is that right? Yeah, I think Groundhog Day. I don't know, read it again. Okay. <laughs> no, right. we... we <laughs> uh, Thank we you. went for uh, the Princess Bride for a little bit, then we read them both again. We were like, no, nope, like Groundhog Day. They should have put at least one of the one-liners in there, and it would be great. You're right. Over to Rich for his alternative synopsis. <laughs> Predator! A team of badasses that are trying to rescue some cured meat hanging in the jungle get ambushed by Little Wayne's dad, only to find out that aliens are really sore losers. <laughs> A, is, is it possible that that's really L Little Wayne's dad? I or think it is. Are you being serious or no? I read the credits. It said Little Wayne's dad. Shut no, I. I, I which, just, which guy are you talking Wayne about? The shaving guy. <laughs> no. Shaving him. Big, no, big... Little Wayne's dad with the dreadlocks. It's yeah, the that's alien. what I was saying. Okay, so you just said that because he has dreads. Yes. You could have said Ziggy Marley's dad. Right? I almost went Ziggy Marley's dad, but that would just be dude. Everybody Bob knows that's Russell that Brand, would fit the time right? Frame, exactly. <laughs> Whatever we're saying. Now this movie does star Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger as ju as. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what? Pronounce it right. Wow. What did I say? 2018, Jim. Did I say it wrong? You said it. You said it. Make America great again, why don't you? Jesus. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't your best work on a name pronunciation. I'd go back to Sweeters. Good thing it's a podcast, Sean. You got some work to do. Pretty much the only one you get right. It's Sweet Hirsch. All right, Arnold. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, thank you, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> That's Dutch. That's the uh, official pronunciation so from Microsoft. Oh, I, actually, Apple, I, Apple. I, I honestly did not mean <laughs> anything <laughs> by that. I just that's how I say. I've always said his name. I, I thought that was real. Well, I wasn't was... trying to be an asshole. Oh. We didn't think you were. We're just laughing because no. we think it was an accident. Yeah, it was a, the, it's because it was an accident. That it was funny. I'm, I, well, because you're not a, you're not a jerk face in real life. Apologize? I am not a jerk face. Yeah. What? You're gonna apologize? Fuck no! I'm not gonna apologize for <laughs> shit. I didn't do anything yeah. wrong. The liberal side of me yeah, wants he an apology. He can pronounce yeah. half the <laughs> names <laughs> on the list. The written <laughs> height of the Nike yeah. Yeah. The liberal yeah. side of me can't even fucking read. You know what I mean? Like, and that there <laughs> and there's no conservative side. So Jesus Christ, we're fucked, guys. I say we go back and start. Start this show over and we all take a knee while it's going on. <laughs> oh, God. Do that for the opening song. Hello, everybody. I'm Jarrett Reddick. And this is a podcast. Jarrett goes to the movies. Hopefully you have seen or heard one of my many musical endeavors. And if you have, then you know how much I love movies. This Wait, is a movie really commentary happening? with no movie knowledge. This no, we're not really oh, I thought you were committing to the bit. Uh, I was committing to the bit as long as like as somebody did wasn't going, is this really happening? <laughs> Got it. Oh, I was going to let it go, but he said Thank you. Yeah. No, that's fine. I get you two mixed up in the mic, but I'm glad you're both Okay, listen, you did it. It's over, okay? There listen, we go. Let's move on. All right, Carl Weathers is in this. <laughs> uh, uh, now, he's fucking Apollo Creed. Yes. Who is yeah. a bad motherfucker. Talk about typecasted 
I can't see him Agreed. and not see Apollo Creed. Not, yeah, but you know what? They, they make him a fucking weasel in this. He's like a CIA holding his little close to the vest information fucking weasel. But even when you he know? talks to like Jesse Ventura in the plane, he's like, you've got a bad habit. Like, that was Apollo Creed. Well, he just 100%. spit on his shoe for Christ. He yeah, but a fucking tobacco stuff on his... You know, the, the real Apollo Creed would have snapped a jab in that mother. Just, best. I can know? only see him as Lando Calrissian, but best, that's just that's what I always see him as Holy too. That's shit! What the fuck Rainbow? just <laughs> happened? Oh, I yeah. thought we were all being Rich, racist. Rich, you need that to leave. Really, Rich, you need world. to leave no, the only... evil empire, dude. This, this is, is the a... reading Rainbow yeah. guy. Holy shit! All right, guys. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. No, dude. Close, dude. He's Chubbs, everybody. He's Chubbs. Rich is combining his movies. Oh, God. All right, guys. We will defeat the Predator. Now, the, evil, uh, you know. the, the uh, award-winning actor in this movie, to me, the guy who makes the whole fucking movie, not joking, Bill Shady Duke. Guy. Bill Duke. Mac. He's the, the f- Yeah, he's yes. the no, best. No, dude. Billy's, Billy's the, you know. I love because Billy's if acting. Saw, wasn't great, though. I if, love Billy. Because he's the same guy in every movie. He's the same guy he was in 48 Hours. Oh, yeah. he was in 48 Hours? Yeah, Holy shit, right. he was! Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm a movie geek. I'm sorry. No, I, no, I no, we are too. But yeah. that's great. And, and I'm actually your generation of movie yeah. geek. And I knew I knew him from somewhere. I thought that Billy, like, and the, the tracking thing, all of that was kick-ass. Bill, but, but Mac, Mac to Mac, me. Yeah, just, Mac, in a, when he's like, Oh, I'm going to get the, I'm going to carve him. When he head. looks at him and yeah. he says, he, when he looks at him and he goes, you better not be ghosting us. If you ghost us, I'm going to kick you out. Yeah. I'm going to leave you there. That's fucking great acting. This right sweat there. is amazing. Yeah, they fucking oh, sweat. Yeah, they, I got to tell you, though, guy. if I was on the plane with those guys, you know, I'd be fucking with him. Not so, it's like, hey, you wouldn't have another razor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Worst Please actor. Tell me you brought your toothbrush. Worst actor uh, uh, award goes to Jesse the Body Ventura. Uh, <laughs> Governor Jesse horrible. the Body Ventura. He doesn't have time for acting class. Horrible. Jesus Christ, he's terrible. He plays Blaine. I uh, love the character, love the meanness or, or whatever, but Jesus, he could not act his way out of a box. But he doesn't have time to believe. Uh, Shane Black plays Hawkins. That's the only guy that you ever put on. You didn't put um, the uh, the guy from 48 Hours on here, so I'm not going to say anything. Oh, I didn't. He was. You didn't put Sonny the... Landham on there? He wasn't on the list, or he was way down, and I missed him. Now, That's here's like... the thing. So you're saying Shane Black, who played Hawkins, mm-hmm. wrote all of these movies? Yes. So what? Shane Shane Black, who played the character Hawkins in this movie, wrote, here it comes, Lethal Weapon, The Last Boy Scout, Last Action Hero, the Long Kiss Goodnight, Kiss Kiss, kiss, kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man 3, mm-hmm. The Nice ga- Guys. And then the new Predator. And the new Predator one. that's coming up. I heard about that little job you pulled off in Berlin. Very nice, Dutch. Good old days. Yeah, like the good old days. Then how come you passed on Libya, huh? Oh, that wasn't my style. You got no style, Dutch. You know that. <laughs> come on. Why'd you pass? Oh, shit. We a rescue team, not assassins. Now, what do we got to do? That cabinet minister is very important. Good acting school. Operations in this part of the world. Dutch, the general's <laughs> saying that a couple of our friends are about to get squeezed, and we can't let that happen. We need the best. That's why you're here. Go on. Not Simple the best set. actors. One best. day operation. We pick up their trailer to chopper, run them down, grab those hostages, and bounce back across the border before anybody knows we were there. What do you mean we? I'm going in with you, Dutch. Channel, my team always works alone. You know that. I'm afraid we all have our orders, Major. Couple of things here before we get into this scene. Holy shit. Take an acting class. Shit, is he a terrible fucking actor. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. But you know what is crazy? (laughs) Is that he's there with like seasoned actor Carl Weathers, right? Mm -hmm. Apollo Creed. And he wait, makes, wait, hold on. He makes him Season look like actor. a bad actor. I don't know. I mean, he was fucking pretty good. <laughs> he was good a in, football player. Well, he was pretty good in Rocky. Pretty yeah. good. Here's, here's my theory on the bad acting situation here. Lines, I feel like after, and if we could have put it in a clip, we would have, but there wasn't, you know, a lot of 
like words dialogue. attached. I, yeah, there wasn't a lot of dialogue. I, if we could have put the thing where they shook hands and just like flex so and did like it, and, and did an above did the ground right. arm wrestle I situation, was that, like, like you can't go down wrestling, from there. Arm wrestling without a table. Sometimes, Jared, you know, like you have a, a the Matt, it's the Matt Castle theory, right? You know, like if you're if you're on the Patriots, you're pretty fucking good. You yeah. go to the other thirty one teams, you suck balls, right? And so, okay. you know, it's, if you have a good director, Jesus. you know, which Rocky obviously did. It yeah. was a Let well me ask dr- you this though: Did you think it was a bad thing for Kansas City to bring him in? Oh, I didn't. Gosh. What is? What are we talking about? Like because Matt Castle from went from the Patriots to Kansas City. Was this hockey? It's a, it's a Game of Thrones thing, Rich. Football. I, Wow. I don't think that was a bad move by them. He just didn't. Fight. But you know, then they got into this. He was this, okay, but they you went know. into the system though of getting these dudes that used to be good, and they fucking fight or or that that showed a a uh, what? He was pretty fucking terrible in Dallas, though. Why are you guys pointing at me? I didn't point. Stop at Stop fucking doing I mean, that. I went like this. What does that mean? You're going to cut it out? Oh. <laughs> just fucking with you. Yeah. It, it, I need some control over what you yeah. Here's the thing, Lex. Let me tell yeah. you this. I, let I, me show you how this is done. I do You're this, fired, Rick. I, <laughs> I do this show. I'm in here. My job is to like keep the show going, be hilarious the whole time, no, make it does interesting. everything else. And, and, then, and Rick's Rich, job is to fuck all that up. up yeah. In the outtakes, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Got it. All right, so <laughs> we'll get off the Matt Castle conversation. But you want to know why you can't be in charge of, like, you can't have any say in, like, the editing? Why? Because you don't listen to the show. Oh, <laughs> that's, you did. Yeah. I've actually never heard You're of You're like it. the Lex of Lex and Terry. There you know we go. I mean? it's like, so I, do whatever so you want to. Here's back to my couple of things. I was going to say, you can't arm wrestle without a table. Yeah, that's to me. That should all you do is extend your arm, and you fucking won. Yeah, you just no, do you this. Could, and you're, yeah. You could do underneath. That's Jared it. does these two things whenever he's drunk. I mean, he does a lot of things when he's drunk. But these are two <laughs> other things that he does when he's drunk. <laughs> I bet Including he does. Text the, me I, I find endearing. I think it's super cute. But he likes to arm wrestle girls. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> do you win? And yeah. he likes to show them that they have the same size hands, and the drunk girl always goes. Oh, Shit, yeah. but they don't. He just puts the hand it's at the, the top of their it's hand. It's the greatest <laughs> bit but, ever. I could do it like I do it all so the time. I bet like, like, like tips on their fingertips. That's it. I bet like twenty people are listening to this, being like, "Are we really fucking not hand twins?" Right. Like that sucks. No, it's, <laughs> but it's but so arm conversational. Wrestles, but, hand twins. But it's maybe conversational. You should, maybe you should try to arm wrestle them without the table next time. Right, and then but they I, would, but they might win. Now, uh, the other thing is the helicopter conversation. Jesus Christ! With the mm-hmm. guy, so you don't find out later till till the one dude is trying to make the tracker guy laugh all the time with right, these pussy right. jokes. Right, and I thought that the pussy joke the was first, actually really funny. The first funny. pussy joke was really good. I thought it was really yeah. funny. Yeah. I yeah. thought the second one was funnier because it funny... was so awkwardly delivered. <laughs> yes, it was good. Yeah, the I, second I one was second one was funny, but the first one was actually a better joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. agree. What was it? It, the echo one? So, no, yeah, no, 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 that's the second, second one. one. No, okay. no, the first one was about the, the tighter. Uh, what was it? It was about a house, right? Uh, he said it, she, she had a big one. It was like the size of a house. Yeah, you know, pussy's the size of a house. And then the, the, the punchline was something about being tight or something like that. But it was it was funny at the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing yeah. radio, Lex. Yeah. Really I yeah. see how you guys have done this for so 30 many, fucking years. Chat room, Google oh, the joke. I, I, you want to hear my notes? Yeah. Love the little pussy joke. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make that into a T-shirt. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Yeah. I'd wear. That's, it. That's you know what Jarrett's notes look like. Joke with X two exclamation marks. I've actually seen his notes. I watch him while he types them, and they're funny. Here's yeah. some of my serious notes, just so they can laugh at me when I leave. Uh, upon landing, director does a great job at letting you know these elites know something's a little bit off. Okay. All right. <laughs> Now we're getting into yeah. like plot and shit. Yeah. We're not even there yet, Lex. I yeah. was gonna say again. No, no, no. We are. This is no, this, this is, is right where we're just land. watching. I know. And then it says tension between Weathers and Arnold is built slowly as they fu- as they find uh, stripped uh, body. Oh no, we're not there yet. We're right. Not, yeah, That's what I'm saying. Right. Don't get ahead because Rich will cut this. Okay. <laughs> I will. Now, how yeah. about this soundtrack? 
I mean, as they're walking through this jungle, it's like Gilligan's Island. It's like... <laughs> dun, 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 it dun, is. Dun, it's dun, like dun, that. Dun, it's dun, the Brady dun, Bunch dun, with dun. the tiki. Ah, the tiki! It is. Like cursed tiki in Hawaii. Remember that Brady Bunch episode? Literally, they're walking. That was the Jump the Shark episode of the Brady Bunch. That was when you knew it was over, the double vacation episode. And then they stop and he goes... Not to be confused with <laughs> quintessential Brady with Marsha taking a, a football in the face. That That's a good one. one. That's yeah. the best. That was the peak. Yeah. There you go. When Marsha Brady got hit in the face with the football. Oh, yeah. That was the, oh, my nose. Man. Oh, my nose. I, I, I nose. actually agree with that, but I will. I think I think I do have a, a better episode than that in my head. I think. Mom always said, "Don't play ball in the house." No, was the cold equally voice equally is important. The cold voice, the 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 song, where he gets the cold and he gets the little squeaky voice and he makes. Oh, his... when it's time to change, <laughs> yeah, it's that time. Well, to... Man, there is the singing episode. You got to keep on, keep on, <laughs> yeah. keep on. Well, how about when uh, when Peter wanted to have a new personality? Fuck it, so let's he review came the down. Brady Bunch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peter came down and he and he wanted a new personality. She goes, "Alice, watch for dinner." And she's like, pork chops, pork chops and, apple. and applesauce. Pork, we're having pork chops <laughs> and applesauce. Yeah, all I, ever did was, all I ever said to Peter at my TV, it's like, you're the middle child. Nobody fucking cares about you, okay? Yeah, just... You have yeah. him on the show? Go ahead and start doing the, the drugs yeah. now. Did you guys have him on the show? No. It's the middle child. We didn't want him. <laughs> right. He meant to the TV, like... Yes. No, but did yeah, he, he and Jan? They can go fuck themselves. Did Peter they were, get on to, like, reality TV and stuff? And yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, was there was, some people life confuse and... him and uh, Willie Ames from uh, Eight Is Enough. <laughs> Willie Ames, yeah. who went on to, oh my God, one yeah. of my favorite character transitions of all time. Willie Ames uh, went on from Eight Is Enough, being Tommy on Eight Is Enough, mm-hmm. and then he went on to Charles in Charge. Mm-hmm. It's the what I call the Ross transformation. He's <laughs> dead now, right? What Willie Ames, no. No. Oh. Uh, Willie Ames on Charles in Charge mm-hmm. was like this player. Like the first year, he was like this yeah. cool yeah. dude player, whatever. And then they just rossed the shit out of him mm-hmm. and just made him stupid. They do that yeah. all the time. I hate when they do that. And then he would just be like, well, blah, 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 blah. You have to admit, it was fucking funny as shit, though. What? When he got stupid. It it, it bettered the Charles show. in Charge? Yes. I know. That's no, not it was show. hilarious that he was an idiot. All we wanted to do was hey, Nicole Hollywood Egger called. underage. But yeah, I was underage. In charge. What movie are we recording again? What are we doing? Sweet cheeks, stay the fuck out of this! How does if each got one round in the head? Whoever hit it stripped the shit out of it. Took him out with a heat seeker. There's something else, Major. Hmm? This is no ordinary army taxi. It looks more like a surveillance bird to me. Pick up the trail yet? Billy's on it. Heat seeker, Dylan. That's pretty sophisticated for a bunch of half ass mountain boys. Major! I guess they're getting better equipped every day. There were 12 gorillas. They took the two men from the helicopter. But there's something else. What do you mean? Six men wearing U.S. issued army boots. They came in from the north, and then they followed the gorillas. Mean anything to you? Probably just another rebel patrol. They operate in here all the time. Get ahead and see what you can find. Yes. Now, I just noticed something. Sonny kind of sounds like Andrew Dice Clay a little bit. Now I only see <laughs> that guy. Yeah, well, gorillas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I only see that dude yeah. as the guy from 48 Hours. Yeah. I'm sorry. It, no, it's amazing though, because he's so big and scary in that. Yeah, I know, he but was. he wasn't as scary as Gans was in 48 Hours. Oh, my God. Gans what? Was... That shirt? Yeah, the net fucking shirt? I don't believe shirt. it. Unbelievable. <laughs> Now, hey. Casey, <laughs> hold on. Here's the thing. So we go, we stumble upon these bodies. They're hanging from a tree. Yeah, like a, like a, a and, Mexican meat market. And, 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 I told, and, and I told Jared a fun fact about the scene. Well, no, then Casey had, as she always does, the best fucking joke of the whole goddamn night. Do you remember what you said? Of course I know what I said. Okay, go ahead. That this was the original Body Worlds exhibit that they started in Vietnam. <laughs> Everybody thinks that that guy was in Germany originally, but he did take a small two year break to start his Jared's rainforest opening. first exhibit. Okay. Other jokes that would have been accepted was finally some hung meat in this house. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought this was Vietnam. 
the whole time. I guess it's, I should have known from her, but she's like not Forrest Vietnamese Gump. or anything. I just think the funny thing about this is they make it South America. I thought it was Vietnam, but too. it's because it's 1987. <laughs> right? yeah. Because it's 1987. Yeah. They, they think it was Vietnam. Oh, good, good yeah. job. <laughs> they have to, That's called branding. Hold on, because it's 1987. <laughs> no, trust me, he's branded through the entire three years of this fight. <laughs> they, they killed them, they cut to them, include. they murdered them. <laughs> 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 because it's just the time, it just Russians have to be involved, right? Yeah. So, like the whole time, it's but just why like, is it? Since, I thought it was Vietnam. I they thought even, they were crossing over from Cambodia or yeah. something. It's got to be the time. Yeah, yeah, and like the Viet Cong and all. This it's got to be the time. I thought she. Man, was, they even hacked into our movies thirty years ago. I mean, I can see that she's. I can see that she's Latina. But I, th it, she could easily be um, Asian too. I think. Yeah. So what I did was... you think about the side boob? Um, sure. Oh, is that coming up? That's coming up. God damn it! Sorry Jinx, for uh, now. Um, so, <laughs> it, it, my notes say Casey makes amazing bodies joke. That was fucking. <laughs> Does that now, exclamation mark? Now, so the predator, the Wasn't first time, funny. mine the, says somebody needs to make a body's joke, so she took care of it. <laughs> yes, yeah. I knew yeah. it. So now good. the predator said cured meat hanging in the jungle. The right? predator sees them for the first time, and it's like they're going through that thing at the airport where we don't want them to see our junk. Right. Yeah, yep. You know, and nobody wants to see that. But mm -hmm. if you don't go through that thing, they stick their finger up your butt. Sometimes. You worry about them seeing your penis? Or I don't thing? give a shit. Actually, you know what I'm saying like people think about that. People think about it. Like I people think don't, about it. don't want to see the boobs. <laughs> but you can't see I mean, it. When I go, like I don't want them seeing mine. So but I, you can't see it. Though. You're ding ding. You can't cover it's it up. It's not stupid. You can tuck it in. No. Oh, well, I wear tight underwear now <laughs> because I had to start wearing tight. Wait, underwear. Are you doing the pocket underwear? Pocket underwear. Oh, yeah, the junk pocket underwear. Our buddy is a chiropractor, Kinda. and he. So I went Kinda. to him a few times, and he did like an X-ray on me, and I was like. Okay, just because we're friends, I have to ask, can you see that I have fake boobs? He's like, yes. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like I'm like, okay, now I know. <laughs> now, but I need to talk to you about that fake penis. Well, because I always, they always ask if you had any surgeries, and I'm like, yeah. I don't really see how that's relevant for this cold, but I'm like, they're like, mm -hmm, no fucking surgeries, yeah, right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>
I was just. I've been I thought that's where you were going. I don't know. I've been in a fucking Wes Craven movie. <laughs> so shit. You look fuck. like you've been in a Wes. No. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, Lex turned on you, he dude. Turned on you. <laughs> he fucking turned on you. I don't well, get no, it. I don't well, no, get the I get, I, Listen, I take I any setup I get. It, it could be anything. Yeah, it's a volley. It's a volley. <laughs> yeah. So they, it could have been pool guy. They he, stumbled he on this thing. Your mom yeah. <laughs> the, was in a movie. The one thing that I did not expect <laughs> is when they get into the hostage camp or whatever, and they come up there, and they come over the fence or whatever, and they look, and the Russian guy, who, A, shouldn't even be there at South America, this is stupid, yeah. but just walks up to the guy, kicks him in the face, and then just shoots him in the fucking head. Yeah. I mean, you can't no just reason. shoot me. You have to kick me in the face first. Yeah. Right. What and an just, asshole. Yeah, like just... Here's a sample. <laughs> Make sure you have no dignity by the end of this. No fucking reason whatsoever. Yeah. Just, uh, uh, you want to see what a dick I am? I'm going to hurt you, then kill you. <laughs> right. <laughs> just fucking pee on me, for Christ's sake. Yeah. So, uh... Oh, good one. I thought one of the... I, my, I think my favorite scene... I think my favorite scene... That of Arnold in this, and he's not my favorite part of this was movie. Was the credits? <laughs> <laughs> was when the truck. So he comes out there here, and he, he sees that the truck is basically running the generator. Oh, right. or whatever. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what he does is he cuts the belt, and, the, and there'd be no way that they would know that that was happening because that wouldn't stop whatever that belt was fucking doing. Right. Making the truck move. And then he goddamn lifts the truck up and puts a bomb in it and just shoves it down there, right? All right. Here's and my... then everything blows up. Everything. They're there to fucking rescue hostages. And they blow up everything. Everything <laughs> is blowing up. Yeah, not, not exactly having their safety in mind. No. By, by, by any stretch of the imagination. And it's not like you don't know where the hostages are going to be moved, but you're blowing the whole fucking yeah, place they, up. They exactly. couldn't wait until yeah. it was dark and sneaking. The goddamn no. gun battles here are hilarious. hilarious. There's one where our, so they're just like bullets Grenades and just everywhere. spraying, yada, yada. Grenades but just... there's one where, <laughs> where Arnold Swear, and it happens really quick, and you'd have to watch it again to see it. But there's one where he just goes, like that, like that's it, and then three dudes just appear and just die. <laughs> yeah, it's like the it's like the uh, Harlem Globetrotters against the generals. <laughs> but, uh, you, know, it, it, you, know, uh, you know, the elite soldiers yeah. against the shitty basketball players. You know gonna, who's going to win. Let's stand in the open and just shoot. What the fuck? Yeah, you know yeah. who's going to win, but it's entertaining yeah. as fuck to watch it. Yeah, yeah, it's like you know, they're going to lose every gun battle for the rest of their lives. What did what did the guy yeah. shoot the grenades at the top of the thing? And he says, I don't, you know. I don't have time to bleed, but then... Oh, yeah, that's a great one. That was a but good line. Why was he doing Hold on, that? That's, like, that's not, we're not to that oh, point. Okay. Yet. You have time for acting school. That was... it's Jesse Ventura. <laughs> but here's the thing about He's that. Now, let's Come discuss on. that. Yeah, because Jesse the Body Ventura had been a wrestler for 20 years at this point. He was an actor. Right, yeah. they act, yeah. He should have been able to really pull this off. You know, and I'll tell you this right now. You're you only guys as good are, as your surrounding cast. You though. guys think that like The Rock is on top of the world, and I've called it. And Casey will tell you this: John Cena will be bigger than The Rock you think in so? Hollywood, one hundred percent. Here's why: he's already crossed into comedy, and he's, he's really comedic, yeah. fucking funny. Yeah, he is. Like that movie. Uh, so is The and Rock. And he's though. Ferdinand, the really friendly the bull. Blockers. When they oh, this fucking voice. movie, Blockers. Have y'all seen this? I've oh my god, it. it's it so good. good. Yeah, he is, is so. Good. Did you like that? Movie? I thought that movie. Oh blew my, my god, I thought that was so funny. I'm with you. He's good. He I'm with you. is so good in it. He's so good. And the the little Indian girl is. He's not terrible, but the movie wasn't great. The writing no. was awful. It but has like your this, favorite. What is it? Who's the mom? I thought oh, Gaines no, was the best. No, that's you your favorite, Jerry. Right. Right. Who's the mom? What? Who's the mom? Amy Mann? What? No, it's uh, what's his face's no, wife. Amy Mann's a singer. No, um, Leslie Mann. Leslie Mann. Yeah. Yeah. She's super hot. Amy Mann was in Tilt She looks thing. nothing like a man. It's I, weird. And I'm, I like her so much. Now, do Wait, I like, wife is she? Um, uh, Jed, Jed Apatow. Apatow. Jed Apatow, yeah. yeah. Oh. Do I like her more than the Isla Fisher girl? You have different no. feelings. Oh, Isla Fisher. No, come you on, have, man. But he's got a weird face. Well, boy, who would you take out of those two? Huh? I guarantee you think so that Isla Fisher is hotter, Fisher. Isla Fisher. but you have the weird thing uh, for the squeaky voice and the mom shit. Scarlett Johansson. By the way, P.S., uh, Isla Fisher, an though, expert. 
looks older in the tag movie. They like uh, I don't know if they made her she's, look she's old. Still hot. So, was she was she in I'm Wedding Crashers? Yes. yes. Oh yeah. She's the one. She's, she's like I'll find you. She's, she's, Hey, have you seen her in um the jo- Keeping Up with the Joneses? Yeah, she's pretty hot oh, in that. Oh my god, she's so hot in that. But but she's also with uh, Wonder Woman in that movie. I like how when people get shot in this movie, they like do the signal from Team America, which is like <laughs> <laughs> their arms go crazy and they're just like disco, disco before I fall down. All right, America, <laughs> fuck, fuck yeah! yeah. So Why Arnold has go? a writer <laughs> that he brings with him that writes these one-liners in every movie he, that he's in. He What's his name? Is that, is that true? A, yes, that's true. What's his name? I don't. I have no idea. Uh, all right, so I have some of the lo- one-liners. You ready to guess the movie? Sure. Yeah. Right. I'll be back. Uh, it's Terminator. Terminator. Right. Consider that a divorce. Um, true Lies. Kindergarten Cop. That's what I was thinking, too. Uh, I can't true see Lies. Anything. It's blue. Total Recall. Oh. When really? he was married Fuck. to the girl that wasn't really married to him. That's right. I was trying to uh, totally Sharon Stone. Stone. Sharon Stone. Yeah. It's a terrible film. All right. It's not a Tuma. Oh, that's... Uh, Jingle all the way. No, no, it's, it's not where he's a pregnant. Tuba. Is it the pregnant one? Yeah, it's. Um, Somebody already said the movie. What? Kindergarten Cop. Kindergarten Cop. No, what's the one where he's pregnant? No, no, no. Oh, that's twins or. No, no he's um, not pregnant. Twins. <laughs> no, he wasn't that's pregnant. This kid. housekeeper yeah. was. I thought he was a dude Junior. that was pregnant. Junior, yeah. Yeah, but no, say. it's not a tumor. It's when he's in the class and he's like talking to the class and and the kid was like, "Is it a tumor?" And he, it's <laughs> not, a not a tumor. Not a tumor. Um, all right, hasta la vista. Yeah, oh, uh, that's the biggest. That's uh, Terminator. Two. Actually, two, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I let him go. Who gives a that's shit? That's Commando. Okay. I guess he let him that's a horrible drop movie. off the thing. Yeah, yeah Jesus Christ. Um, you've been erased. Uh, it's Eraser. 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 Yeah. And then, <laughs> I, would, I was going to actually uh, guess that. And I was, these four well. are from one movie. Ready? Okay. He had to split what a hothead, what a pain in the neck. And let off some steam. That's the one with Danny DeVito, wasn't no, it? No, 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 no. That's Running Man. Fuck. Yep, Running Man. Fuck. You got it. Jared I'm, I'm Spear just, for the fucking win. I'm man. just looking at all the movies and guessing. So are, are you saying that one guy wrote all those he lines? He brings a writer with him to have to write these kind of one-liners. He has them in every movie. Because he can't say anything else. You can't write them yourself? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm being serious. Like, he couldn't be just like, you know what? I can't really actually read this. Like, if, if I'm looking at Carl Weathers... And I'm like, this encyclopedia is not, god damn it, it's fucking hard to say. <laughs> like, he can't say encyclopedia. Get to the no. chopper. <laughs> right. That's one of my favorites, yeah. Hasta la, Vi- Hasta la Vista Baby was like the freaking theme song for every like yeah, little kid in the, every little kid in the 90s. Now, did, did I mean, ever, uh, can do... I just say, I think we're close to the same age, so I know. Yeah, we're... Also, yeah exactly. I think I'll be back. Is pretty. I mean, like, get to the chopper isn't even a thing for me, but I'll be back. Here is where it did happen, though, where he says to Jesse Ventura, he goes, You bleeding, man. He's like, I ain't got time to bleed. I know. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Yeah, yeah. That? yeah, that's not a time thing, Jesse. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, right. you know, what the fuck is that? Nobody puts a stopwatch to bleeding. And what you is know? it and that it's... he calls the gun? It's just like the. It's like the happy maker or some shit or whatever. If the I ain't got time to bleed thing was a relevant reference that people recognize, like that would be a viral meme in the mom community yeah, constantly. If they, if that <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that oh, line, my God. She's right. If that, that line like would have come out reference? today, it'd be like, like a fucking t-shirt. You know, yeah, t-shirt, <laughs> oh, a meme. A... Casey, that is fucking brilliant. Can we start? I know. That? It should, be like, it should be like it should be like on all, you don't the, do. all the mom so fucking good. websites. I don't like, have time to bleed. Yeah, guess what? I don't have time to bleed. I got kids to raise. That's my next <laughs> tattoo. Right oh my god! Yeah, like, oh, you get I'm that. my period. You, get you don't have time Sunday. to bleed. Exactly. We got him. I think this is what you're looking for. You sell stuff. It's all bullshit. All of it. The cabinet minister, the whole business. Got us in here to do your dirty work. Look, we just stopped a major invasion. In three days, they'd have been across the border with this stuff. Why us? Because nobody else could have pulled it off. 
You pissed about the cover story. I knew I couldn't get you in here without it. So what story did you hand to Hoppa? Look, we've been looking for this place for months. My men were in that chopper when it got hit. Hopper's orders were to go in and get my men, and he disappeared. He didn't disappear. He was skinned alive. And my orders were to get somebody and who could crack these bastards. So he cooked up a story and dropped the six of us in a meat grinder. Yes. Kiss him. <laughs> Kiss him. <laughs> he used to be somebody I could trust. I woke up. Why don't you? Did you feel that sexual tension? Now, yeah, a little bit. So yeah, those guys, those guys are going to bust so one out, I think. In directing, all they were doing was saying, guys, be don't bad. don't try to act. Just say your lines as fast as you can. <laughs> Right, just as fast as you can, and we're gonna pour things on you so it looks like you're sweating. <laughs> Here, here's it's what like here's here's what I think exactly. happened. So, cut. You, cut. <laughs> 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 they did not have that technology yeah. back then. <laughs> oh, okay. But I will say this: I I actually you don't think, think it was real sweat. Like they didn't just like film yeah. this at Warp Tour. And I fucking... think that last line that he delivers <laughs> is good. I think when he goes. I woke up. So should you. Like, that was acting. Like, it was like, oh, shit, he fucking figured that out. He's woke. You know, he fucking woke up. I, I think, I think, you, were, I think so you were made drunk of the poor quality before, and that just looked like a good one <laughs> to you. I may have been yeah. made drunk yeah. of something else. If Can I'm, I go yeah. to the actual movie for a second? Oh. Is it, that's he's different. That's what we were doing. That's what we were he's just talking soldier, about, Rich. right? Who? Arnold. Arnold is a major, but he, it's it's he's, he's a, a hired soldier. gun. He's like a but it's but is he a soldier I or is think, he not a soldier? I think he's they're like the it's not to be talked special about. Forces. Correct, but he's a soldier. He was. He's supposed he's to not follow a soldier or, anymore. What are you it's getting? It's a need to know basis, Rich. I, I'm asking: Is he a soldier? Jesus is he not Christ. a soldier? My the point definition. Is if you're a soldier, you follow orders. It isn't. You don't have a decision. Guess he's what? This, this guy point. isn't his fucking. It doesn't not, matter. This guy isn't over him. It doesn't it's matter. Like him. He, he doesn't really go. Pools. That's his orders. He that does your girlfriend. Don't ask. You just hold do. on. Hold on. He's a mercy. No, but the dude over the dude that gave him the order the order wasn't even his boss. Also, let me just say this: If he's a general, it's he's He's his boss. Listen to me. That's how it works. That guy's not a general. No, the, the other guy was a general said, that said, go do this. Once you find the hostages, he's in charge. Okay? Right. But goddamn, they found the hostages dead. Then they killed the rest and of them. And also, this guy's a fucking asshole. And he's CIA. Doesn't Fuck matter. him. Doesn't matter. You do the, if you're Rich. a soldier, you do what no, you're ordered Rich, to the, do. Only Rich, the whole premise of this is. is this guy is now a CIA tightwad asshole that knows everything that's going on. He knows about this alien. Exactly. He knows about all this shit. Thank you, a, Lex. Because there's a part later on in the movie where the girl uh, talks about all these stories of right. where she lives, of by, finding skin body. You know, this thing's been coming to the planet to the hunt. Hunter. She, you know, the hunter. He knew yeah. about it the whole time. Okay, I come from an army family. You follow <laughs> fucking orders. It doesn't matter. But here's Not the when thing. you're out of the army. They bring, not they, the CIA. He, 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 I'm he asking showed, you. He I'm showed up in a polo shirt. Is he in shirt. the army or is he not in the army I, right now? He's in the A-team. <laughs> Dude, he showed up in a red polo shirt. He was out and of uniform. That, that, he, well, he was a hired gun. Are they're you, hired okay. guns. If they're hired guns, you've been hired to do a job. Shut the fuck up. Oh, so there's no right answer. No. no. This is a movie. What I are they supposed to be? Hold on, but yeah, what but are you, they supposed to be? You've been hired on are... the premise of you haven't been told the really Nothing. bad shit you're being sent in. Also, they're sent in there to rescue some people who don't fucking matter. You know, like oh, these hostages. Don't matter, no, 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 that's people not it. People don't matter. Oh, Rich. Jesus Christ! Rich. Rich. By the Rich, way, Rich, like me calling you up and saying, comment. "Let's uh -huh. go to the lake for the oh, weekend." You, okay. And we go to the lake, but it's a lake full of diarrhea and shit. And I didn't tell you lake that. Lake Louisville. Right. Yeah. God damn it, Woody! All right, I'll take Woody's. There you go. Comment. Who the? What did Woody say? He's in the army. He says he's in the Marines. He's a thinking. soldier, special forces, but he took orders from a CA operative. That was an unlawful order. Due to them giving falsified information. That's correct. That's what I said. Yeah. That's pretty close. Okay. Well, I'm not yeah. taking it from you. By the way, Lex, <laughs> I'll Lex take it from Woody. give That's a shout out to Woody Woody. Chambers. <laughs> Woody Chambers about to be in his 10th deployment. Woody. Every time you release an album, which you are, Kelly, yeah. and thank you for your safe, service, man. my yeah. friend. Dude, and he is the fucking best. That's this the guy. shit right there, man. Absolutely. Woody is the man. Yes, thank you is. for protecting our he country. Is. We appreciate it, you guys. He fires nuclear warheads at people or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're bleeding, man. Yeah, they spit that out.
tense deployment. This is great for the you audio listeners. This was like a Buggles video. This okay. is like a soundtrack now, to a Rob Zombie movie. I have never <laughs> performed, by, performed by Skrillex. Yeah. I have never done acid, but if you watch this on acid, would you just be freaking I'm the sorry, fuck but out? It would, this, it, would, it would kill you. This looks like the worst form of visual sensory input that I can think of. It's yeah. complimentary there's, colors. There's That's zero good. depth perception. It's infrared. Though. He'd run into every single tree in the forest. Trees aren't hot. If I was Klaus Mine and Rudy Shanker, I'd want it on my next Scorpio. video. Ladies and gentlemen, a scorpion <laughs> show could never happen. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah. Big city. Now, here's the thing. There's this is where like you. this is where the the pussy echo joke happens. And I do have to say that um I actually had heard this joke before, but presented differently when I found a porno called Never So Deep in my dad's closet and in watch it on closet. and closet. I watched it on VHS and in 5th grade I showed it showed it to Stevie you Morgan You said shoved it. Where did nah. you shove yeah, it? Yeah, where did you shove it? Guys, I've been drinking. <laughs> God damn it, sweet pants. Shut the fuck what? up. <laughs> what is VHS? So I v, Are you uh, sweet pants? It's a uh, no. it's a whole thing. Anyway, so I put this porno yeah. in Mm-hmm. And St- poor Stevie Morgan was completely <laughs> freaked out. Guy. He called his mom and fucking went home. I'm not joking, because like Did it he was tell like penetrate. No, he didn't. He's probably still fucked up about but that. But anyway, here's the yeah. about. I don't know. I, he's I, like raping women in his no, basement he's, right now. Yeah, he's actually in prison. <laughs> uh, oh my god, Jared. Yeah. He, so uh, in the movie, they're trying to figure out where this girl who basically uh, it, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this guy is eating out this girl and it's like super it's porno uh, and he just that's... goes he just goes what a big cunt <laughs> and then it goes what a big cunt <laughs> and she goes she goes well you didn't have to say it twice <laughs> but here's where the comedy comes in he goes hey i only said it one 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 like, yeah. <laughs> the, like the whole the whole delay is completely different. Like the first time it only repeated once, right, right, right. but the second time it's like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Watch Never So Deep. Uh, he's never so deep. Okay. Yeah, poor Stevie Morgan. I'm sorry oh, about no. that. Now, um, the predator hmm. finds the dead scorpion here. Uh, you know, it's again. It, it just feels like you're an acid. And also, like, <laughs> is a scorpion like a warm-blooded animal anyway? Like, well, how it's would dead. It be... It's not going to be that warm. It anyway. wouldn't be able to see it. That's fucked up. Did you and, hear how and they and did that's, this? That's not what an acid trip is like. How they did the? <laughs> Are you serious? Because I've never done it. Here's the thing that I've been wanting to do. <laughs> you never done acid? I've Two never times. done any oh. drugs. Yeah, me either. Yeah. They're, no, they're... I I've smoked pot. Uh, well, that's not a drug. I smoked pot three times. Okay. That's your it. dick's so getting that's better. That's it. That's it. What? Your dick's getting bigger. It is definitely not. I've gotten fatter. It gets smaller. <laughs> it's weird. It's like the fatter I get, the more of an any I have, belly button and penis wise. It's Jesus. fucking crazy. Jesus Christ! I feel so bad. I've done like everything. I- I'm yeah. with you on that. No, yeah. I fucking let. That's why we're friends now, Lex. Let's Hi, fucking go world. experience yes, it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, now's the time. Yeah. Out there. <laughs> right, yeah. father right, be- of three. right before the kindergarten watch anyway, yeah, you're right. anyway, I don't do that anymore. Time. Do you want to go outside? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today's your day. Fucking seize yeah. it. Now, this Spanish chick, you knew this was going to be a liability, right? Like, why does he have to bring her? But she's got to have an impact to the movie. A pussy. Side boob. That's my shot. She gives information for predators. Well, for one thing, a girl with shaved legs in the middle of the jungle is a com- commodity. I don't <laughs> even do that shit. You know I live mean? in suburbia, and yeah, I take yeah. like six she, baths yeah. a day. Is she the camp whore? Is I'm that actually, what's going I'm, on? I'm, I, don't know, I don't know, but she had like, like she had lotioned skin and nice tan. And, I'm actually know, I mean, not joking. Well, she's Hispanic. I yeah. think what Lex hair. just said is the fucking best thing that's ever been said on this podcast. <laughs> ever. I am Thank not you. joking. 
Roadhouse. He said that a girl in the middle of the jungle, the South American desert with shaved legs, <laughs> is a commodity. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? She might. That just... is a good goddamn yeah. joke. <laughs> then again, she might just have that thing that you got going on. Right. Oh, so, that's oh, true. so oh, like, laser hair treatment. Indian. No, you that's don't what know. I thought when I met you him. don't know this about me. So I grew up Native American. I was told my whole life I was Native American. I people showed me paperwork. I Some saw people photos. Call it American Indian. Uh, Some people don't. Okay, that's fine. Please Whatever. tell me Can, your Indian name wasn't Bowling for Soup. <laughs> well, interestingly that's enough, no, it was actually sorry. That's it was fucking really good. It was actually two dogs fucking. But um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew him. Yeah. So <laughs> I did twenty three in me this last December, right? I find out, no, I'm 99.9% English. <laughs> and like 0.1%. Dude, I look at you and I see an English dude. It's No, that's not true. Yeah. I don't grow any hair on my body. And then here's the thing. His mom isn't even his mom. If I saw a picture of you and they're like, what nationality is this guy? I'd go, oh, he's... You know, like Cockney or something. Are you serious? Oh, that's a, absolutely. That's just because of my uh, hair. His, yeah. his and, mom and, goes, and I'm being a dick right his now. His mom goes, I have pictures of your great grandparents on the reservation. I'm like, you know, they're fucking just buying Maybe turquoise, just right? Truck, <laughs> you know? Yeah, he made reservations at St. Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I uh, force them. My whole yeah. life, I don't grow hair on my arms or my legs. I've ne I don't get sunburned like I full I'm, head of hair I have full 46. head of hair like I'm 46 all this shit right so I do this 23 in me I find out I'm not Native American right got my first fucking sunburn <laughs> he like goes off to golf and I'm like come here white boy we gotta fucking do yeah, this now exactly they Today's gotta put it all day. on me I'm worried I'm gonna grow hair on my arms now cause I found out I'm not Native American now I sit crisscross applesauce it was placebo <laughs> 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 you know <laughs> I mean, God, there's it's so like, many jokes here. Sometimes, <laughs> so many sometimes fucking jokes. he can't sometimes, catch his dreams anymore. Sometimes I right through him. Sometimes I give somebody something and I want it back. I'm a Caucasian giver. Ask <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened. Que pasó, mujer? Mujer, que pasó? Que fue lo que viste? Quién fue? Dime, mujer. ¿Quién fue? Dime. La selva, la selva se lo llevó. ¿Qué? No sé, no estoy segura, no sé. She says the jungle. It just came alive and took him. Bullshit. It's not what she said. What she said doesn't make any sense. Look, those sappers have been following us ever since. They've been in front of us, man. But this woman's just running up to us. I should have This woman's been running up right to us. They've been in front of us. Why didn't they take his radio or his weapon? Why didn't she escape? Hopper. What? They did the same thing to Jim Hopper. Does anybody understand him? Why can she speak only Spanish now and English fine later? Well, Jared, that is a fucking reveal. Yeah. Shut same. the fuck up, Jared. Sorry. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You would think I know that. Well, she was pretending like <laughs> no, put the she's, she's, the she's answer pretending simple. like she doesn't speak English until yeah, he kind of forces it out of her. And so know that's them. Like, my what, there's some torture shit going yeah. on? Like, no she way. When she should have said, I'll speak English if you will. <laughs> now, here's... <laughs> <laughs> a few things happen. Mm, yeah. We get oh, the fuck. first reveal of the Predator. <laughs> and Whoops. <laughs> it looks like if you guys ever played video games when you were a kid, if you ever saw a... Um, if you ever saw the system in television, <laughs> this is what it fucking looked like. In television? In television, yeah, yeah. that game. Yeah. It sucks that you guys were all not paying attention to that joke. <laughs> uh, in television? I didn't know that uh, game anyway, so I just... Television? That's what the, I don't want to tell people this, I'm 70. That's okay, what I'm this sorry. goddamn fucking guy looks like. The first time they reveal the Predator, it's like, oh, we're playing in television. It's like they got the little disc. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? And the so, numbers on yeah, the yeah. thing. Dude, I have Here's the thing a lot of people don't know. Um, the dude that played the Predator was actually also in The Predator 2. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who originally was supposed to play him that was playing Roadhouse. Him? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I can't see I love you. Roadhouse. <laughs> All right, so Forgot they didn't take the weapons or the pack. Now, here's here's the th here's what happens. So 
We have, guys, by the way, do you know this? If you're in a movie in 1987, apparently there's a very good chance you're going to be the governor of a state. <laughs> because right here, right here in this fucking scene, yeah. The See, governor, oh, yeah. the governor of Minnesota gets fucking whacked. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Got killed. But not the governor. He got of lasered. California. And then they saw the guy, and his eyes lit up, and it was like, hello, hey, we saw the guy. And then they just start shooting the whole goddamn forest out. They're mowing it down. Trees are falling down. It's a great scene. There's vines that are coming. Nothing. It's fucking crazy. They hit nothing, they say. But they mentioned earlier that when they found the first bodies that there was gunfire everywhere indicating they were just shooting in all directions. Correct. So this had happened before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now they know why. Exactly. Now they do know why. Because he's in the trees. They're starting to figure, now he's in the trees. Now, the uh, the Spanish lady who doesn't speak Spanish yet and who was uh, in cahoots with the Russians, she finds... Uh, and is incredibly weak, by the way. She can't even break a couple of fucking zip ties. Well, <laughs> that's correct. I mean, and, now, and, and they had that? zip ties in 87? So she I'm, finds some antifreeze yeah, on yeah, a leaf. Yeah. We didn't she, figure out that... We could break zip ties until YouTube came along. Came along. <laughs> well, that's correct. I know. Yeah. I'm really glad I never got like kidnapped and put in a trunk until yeah, now. I, I now I know how to do it. Tried to try to break. Like I wouldn't have tried to break. There's a shoelace technique. There's a hand technique. Like this, and you break it. Yeah. yeah. But before YouTube, I would have just sat there like an idiot. I know. But if you get kidnapped, they do your ankles. I definitely chewed like through that. a zip tie before. Not on my arms. Like trying really hard to get into like. A box or something. <laughs> like a fucking you were trying to get in a box. Yeah. No, like, like. Why the fuck would you want to get in a box? If I can get these zip see. ties off, I'm gonna, I'm get, gonna get in this box. In this box. <laughs> Nobody, you guys haven't been there before. Jesus you know what's worse than that is there. a Chinese finger trap. Oh, I hate those things. Motherfucker. <laughs> you know, and the funny. You know what? What the Chinese are trying to do? They sell them to the kids cheap, <laughs> so we'll all end up in those fucking yes. things. And then and they just then, take over the country. Do you and ever panic and you get sweaty? You're like, I have, a, I have a fucking great <laughs> masturbation story about that. I, oh, my God. Um, oh, I, I, so I used to take... You and Chris Bernie's penises were in... No, I oh. used to take the toilet paper roll and I would I would like tr- put lotion in nope. there. That's really nope. big. And nope. jack off with that thing nope. for a while. And then one no, day... What? No, you didn't. Are you, are you, I, I really did. Okay. I'd so squirt like, like a tell me you weren't there. I would like four inches squirt long. a bunch of lotion in there, and I would like jack off with a toilet paper roll. Oh, you'd squeeze it? Uh, no, no, no. I would just like put it on my dick and just like go around the thing. I got pretty, girth. I got no. Okay. I got no. Okay. Length at all. Got it's it. just no, I got a little. Got it. Well, I don't know. They've interrupted the story so much. I forgot. <laughs> That basically, it was like Chinese handcuffs, and I had to wait for it to go down. Yes. And that did happen. <laughs> that oh, it's sense. got swollen. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So they well, hit the nothing. Point. Anyway, it was... Um, <laughs> now, she watched... Lex is leaving. <laughs> Are you really leaving? Get the fuck out of here. I am out of here. No, I'm getting my Adderall out. <laughs> good for you. You want another beer? A.K.A. mushrooms. No, I'm good. Okay. Now, uh, so she wipes no, the blood on her pants. after the Adderall. <laughs> and then uh, Predator becomes visible. Um, gets everything, blah, blah, blah. Now, one of the things that happens here is the Predator actually did get hit, right? Yes. He got hit, and then he, so he, he, he chills out for a second. And then he recreates the scene from Rambo, where Rambo gave himself stitches and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only he has the greatest fucking first aid kit of all time. It like pops out of his arm. Yeah. Like, doo, oh yeah, right? it's like a Swiss Army kn- it, knife. Uh, right, and then yeah. surgical kit. But unlike Rambo, fucking Predator, he fucking screamed. Yeah. Rambo, no nope. nothing. Little fucking blood. Little wince. Little wince. Uh. Well, he would have screamed if the direct, you know, the director would have went. Uh, it's time to scream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wasn't he the director? I know. He, they did, the yeah. whole thing happened. His arm comes off, and I just go, he took that really well. Like, <laughs> all Listen, right. I, all I've gotten out of this movie so far is respect for Rocky Balboa. You know, that he actually made Apollo Creed look like a good actor. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, ten, or eleven. It's the Richter scale again. Okay. Should we explain this to Lex? 
Uh, well, it's part of the show. Sure. Go ahead. So right. you tell him. All right. So we had it. Did you come we, up with it? When we did um, Caddyshack, mm -hmm. we noticed that, or I noticed, that there was a poster on the back wall of the men's or the, the, the guys. Um, the boys' locker room. The boys' locker room in Caddyshack. Of uh, the caddies, right? The of the caddies. caddies. Yeah. And it was a rating scale for women. And it was a 12-point scale on how to tell if your girl was hot or not and whether or not to, you should be dating her or marry her and all that kind of stuff. Well, I thought that 12-point scale was incredibly sexist, obviously, right? So I made an 11-point sure. scale. <laughs> I made an 11-point scale so it wasn't as sexy. Yeah. And so now, from that point on, I've rated all the, the, the women in the movies with this 11-point scale. Because 12 which, was too far. It, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's very sexist to be 12. It's like having scale. a dick in your ass. If it's only halfway in, it's not gay. <laughs> it's exactly right. Really. That's yeah. actually how we described yeah. it to begin yeah. with. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, right. everybody, everybody, right. everybody knows that. But, but yeah. it's still gay. I don't remember gay. that conversation. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm gonna, I've, been no, getting, no, I'm sure. I've been getting colonoscopy since, like, the age of 19. <laughs> And I'm not sure I'd even feel it from like an average dude. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, ten, or eleven. It's the Richter scale again. Now, I have Wait, made you had a, some mean I, friends. God damn it! Do the fucking now, scale I've for made Christ's sake. I've tried. I, uh, I, I'm making a change oh to the scale. Oh my god! It's Are you guys as frustrated? Scale. It's still an 11 point scale. Even our fans are frustrated. They're in the room and no, they're frustrated because I want to hear you know what you scale. Would have been right. I want to know what you think. By now. I want to know what you think about the change in my scale. Okay. She's like our feet on there. Movie, so she? basically, instead of doing, it's still 11 points total, but instead of doing 11 points for each thing, I'm going hot or not. No. And if it's hot, it's one point. If it's not, it's zero. No. no. Did you so, do the let other me just, thing? Let me just let go through. Let him try it out. Let him try Let's it out. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to the Can old Can you try one. it on me first? All right. All uh, I know is I would have gotten laid already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. El Padilla <laughs> Carrillo. Just deal. El okay. Padilla Carrillo. Okay, here we go. Ahead. Ready? All right. Hair hot. Eyes hot. Nose not. Mouth hot. Face overall not so hot. No. Uh, arms hot. Boobs not. Waist hot, ass hot, legs hot. Overall, not so much. Uh, that gives her seven points total. So that gives her a seven in the 11-point scale. This is the worst. I do like the other scale better. It's okay. fucking terrible. I tried it. It was a good try. Can I, you do I, the old one? Yeah. Well, I don't have it. He was trying one, it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, eight, nine, ten, or eleven. Get your calculator it's out, Rich. Again. All right, give me. Let's see. Hair. I missed the semen in my butt. Give me eight <laughs> eyes. I get her. Fuck it. Really good Never bit. mind. <laughs> in the mind of Rich. Jesus Christ. Damn bastards. They say we're still in too far, and they can't risk coming in after us. Your assets, Dylan. Expendable assets. It comes with the job. I can accept it. Bullshit. You're just like the rest of us. Shitload of gutter chopper's gonna do us in here anyhow. Sergeant? Sergeant! Time Sergeant. for you to shave. Who gives the day? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I only saw one of them camouflaged. He was there. Those eyes disappeared. What was that? Those eyes there. They disappeared. I know one thing, Major. I drew down a fire straight at it. Capped off 200 rounds in the minigun. Full pack. Nothing. Nothing on this earth could have lived. Not at that range. Best actor in the movie, Predator! He scares the up. shit out of me. Yeah, oh my god, he's scary. so fucking good here. How does he, he not get razor burn though? He's yeah, I was thinking that like with no shaving cream, okay, nothing. Every well, girl has been in an emergency where they had to dry shave their legs, and it's yeah. fucking. It, no, but it you, only but holds you rich. over until that time that somebody needs to touch your legs, and then the next day it's all fucking bumpy. And Soldiers awful. will tell that you that they get crack used to. rich. <laughs> I, I do it when I actually shave. They <laughs> will tell you that though that like that. 
they learn to, like soldiers, they learn to shave with cold water. They learn to dry shave. I mean, you can't learn. You can't you, learn. You just no, do it. Your skin learns to do it, is what I'm saying. Like, you mm. get used to it. Mm. Okay. It's, it's well, and bad. also, there's I'm a lot of humidity out, out there. I mean, ask you know, him you guys, right now. Woody, can you shave without shaving cream? I do it every time. Really? Yeah, you can. Well, everybody can. I yeah, and look at him. Cream. He has a goddamn full you beard. You never uh, use shaving cream? I shave my head with a full beard. I shave my head without shaving cream. That explains the full beard. Lex, do you shave your head with that shaving cream? Yeah. In the shower? A lot of time I'll shave my head. But with no, some soap or sink. something? No, I'll just wet the razor and do it. Ouch. Yeah. 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 I'm the same yeah, way. You just, go, yeah. you just go. How long have you had to do that? Um. Well, I mean, I went through a, like, chemo phase. Fuck. Um. Where, uh, you know, actually, like, Looked like a Serbian terrorist. You know, it was like. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Right now? <laughs> you know, and then and then Terry finally convinced me I need to shave my head. Okay, so, so you went through a what? I went through like a like a chemo phase. Okay, where I so just had, where I just, it was just thin. It was long, but it was all over the place. You know, kind of like uh, the head coach at West oh, Virginia. I know what looked, you're saying. You know, I know what he's saying. Once you shaved the it, Dana you Holgerson did. It's looked. like the the Stephen Wright face. Once you yeah. shaved it, though, you looked fucking tough. And you had the beard, and you were, you know. You yeah, were, who knew? You what know? what, I mean, what just... Chambers says, yes, it's true. Your skin gets used to it. I believe that that yeah, happened right. for what you, Woody, but I do said. not That's believe crazy. it. In what life. does Woody know? He only did 10 deployments. <laughs> yeah. 10 deployments. Right, right. I mean, <laughs> Woody, how much do you hate your wife? <laughs> no, he loves oh, her. Oh, he fucking loves her. Now, um, <laughs> after <laughs> this. That's bad job. <laughs> <laughs> now, after after this scene, it, we see like. Mac does end up with a he does end up in a rumble with what we think is the predator, right? And you, they're just they're going around and around and yeah. screaming and shit. Yeah, I was very angry about this scene. Yeah, and then he fucking just killed the pig. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I made notes. It said director tries to build even more tension by making us think the altercation with the alien is taking place when indeed it's a giant sow that they just <laughs> that they that they end up wasting and not even barbecuing and eating exactly you know which or bury I was, it i like, was pissed before i mean lex, that's like 800 dollars worth of barbecue land <laughs> lex before last year about christmas time i would have buried that thing and enjoyed it three months fucking later. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying right now? I know exactly what you're saying. 23 and me. Fuck that yeah. all up. Fucked it all up. I, <laughs> I, didn't get this, I didn't get this stomach without knowledge, pal. Yeah, I get it, man. I you would have used the bones. Everything. <laughs> now, the salad eating so motherfucker there's over <laughs> here, man. I know my fucking pork. <laughs> they're starting to figure it out. He's killing us one at a time. They're like, he, he's like a hunter, right? And then we find out this fucking girl that you just gave a seven on the new worst richer scale of all time <laughs> can speak fucking English. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, now making I'd her an she eight. spoke English, yeah. I would have given her a fucking so, higher score. Maybe the worst line in movie history, mm -hmm. maybe, was where she says, it was like a chameleon. He blended in with the jungle. forest or right, the yeah. jungle, right? Yeah. And so uh, Apollo Creed comes out with this. You trying to tell me these men were killed by a lizard? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> also, she's with a bunch of dudes in camo. <laughs> I yeah. I That's laughed the worst description of all time. Dude, I, I, <coughs> Casey, did, I laughed through this whole goddamn movie, didn't I? Uh, I can was, I be, like, super honest? You were sleeping and on your phone? No, I was t wide awake. I was uh, making a martini. I was making a kid's lunch. Freaking... Boiled some eggs. I, uh, I I took a couple oh, do you laps. Still have the boiled eggs? Yeah, there's, there's a some bunch. down there. Yeah. Okay, cool. I, I did a, I did a couple laps. I don't feel like I missed much. I never knew that that girl didn't speak English, but that's okay. So I guess that was a big plot point. But I don't feel like I didn't get anything. You know, I don't feel like I lost much from the story. It changed colors, like the chameleon. It uses the jungle. You saying that Blaine and Hawkins were killed by a fucking lizard? <laughs> That's a There's two or three men out there at the most. Fucking lizard. Gotta leave that in. What's your name? Anna. Anna. This thing is hunting us. All of us. So you might as well speak English. <laughs> 
You don't need everyone. I'm taking her back. We're out of here in five minutes. You're not going yet. Look, the rendezvous is 10 to 12 miles away from here. You think the chopper's gonna wait? Dylan, we make a stand now, or there will be nobody left to go to the chopper. There is something else. When the big man was killed, you must have wanted it. Its blood was on the leaves. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, fucking leave my analogy in there and just like that was. That was fucking kick ass. You're going to try to cut that up and try to make it more interesting for people like you, but it was fucking great. <laughs> I'm not going to think of it. Uh, I don't think it's that hard to see, honestly. Like, what? If you see it, you you notice that. Yeah, it's but not he's that hard like, to see. It, if you're it, looking for it. He's and also, fast, though. What is this guy doing? What's the alien doing when they're having like five minutes of dialogue each time? He's in the tree. He's following them around. Like, why is he off? Like, getting groceries? Isn't he skinning? He's got a life, people? man. No, same as at the beginning of the movie. He's watching them. Just I know, but out what they do. he could completely, he could completely fuck them up at any moment's notice, and he can hear them the whole time. You so think? Every time they're like plotting what they're gonna do, he's hearing them plot. I started thinking to myself that he was like. Saving their voices in his head, and he could. Like, I thought that was going to come into play. Right. He did that, right? He used their voice. I it thought, did. I thought he it was going to come to play, but I don't think it he came into play. He did it like play. one time. He does a lot more in the set. I thought he did, but like it was but, at the very end. It was just him and Arnold. He like repeated something he back that he That's said. what I thought. Ha, ha, right. Yeah, but it yeah. was like, ha ha ha. But I thought it was going to be like, hey, over here. Yeah, and then you walk over there and he gets stabbed or something. Right. Uh, but it didn't come to play. No, I thought that, that totally would have been was creepy. Come. Because remember, it was like over here, and then it actually was him hiding. The P.S. black guy that, was hiding. The I, I realize I'm now. Fuck it, I'll talk about it in a minute. Goddamn, because you'll cut it anyway. <laughs> um, are you trying to tell me these men were killed by a lizard? <laughs> have we talked about that yet? Or uh, yeah, never mind. yeah, yeah. All right, so... you said it's the worst line in the movie. <laughs> I, know, I know, Lex. I'm fucking with Rich about the editing. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm leaving all that in. That should be the name of this podcast. <laughs> Fuck with the rich. Yeah, one hundred percent true. Yeah. Yeah. Kind almost, of is. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. That's true. So the demon is taking trophies of men or whatever, and. There's so much happening Participation here. or like... That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's the next clip, by the way. Yeah. That's today's predator. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I didn't kill him, Dad. That's okay. Here. Here's a head. <laughs> Come on. This is good shit over here. <laughs> Sorry, Rich is fucking with me over here. Oh. Uh. Ow. 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 <laughs> Take that, Woody. It's too much. <laughs> Told you shit about when chicks. When I was little, we found a <laughs> She looked like, like butchered. The old women in the village crossed themselves and whispered crazy things, strange things. El diablo cazador de hombres. Only in the hottest years this happens. And this year it grows hot. We begin finding our man. We found them sometimes without their skin, and sometimes much, much worse. El que hace trofeos de los hombres means the demon who makes trophies of man. Here's the thing: it only happens once every hundred years. Get the fuck Don't out of live there! there. Yeah, yeah, no, like leave, go, and then guess what? He's going to be done. Yeah. Did you ever watch shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Not the movie, like the show. No. And you're like, maybe just don't fucking live there. Yeah. Like, that's where all the... If that's yeah. like, Agreed. It's a hell mouth where all the demons are. Like, maybe just like... Yeah, kind of like Friday 30 the 13th. <laughs> down uh -huh. the road. Yeah, no, let's not go to the lake. Yeah. Because a lot of people have been fucking killed there. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's like, but you can't... Lost boys. Let's Here's not go to the beach. That big white shark might be there. Here's the thing about Friday the 13th, <laughs> though. You can't get away from that, though, because it's like, let's go fuck in a bunk bed, and then the knife just comes up through your chest while yeah. the oh girl... Like, no, Kevin I want to go to the right? lake. I'm a yeah. hockey yeah. fan. Yeah. Did you know that was Kevin Bacon? Uh, how many degrees of separation am I from him? Two. I think no, I'm, I think it's just one. I'm one, yeah. All right. Why? Uh, Why just one? Because I'm the fucking most famous person you've ever met, Lex. Except so since I'm for, married to you, I'm am kidding. I like one degree mm. further every time? 
No. No, I don't know. We we we're, I'm we, always two. You're always one. I, I think. embellish. I think. All right. So I got you, motherfucker. Happens here. Um, now they net this guy. They net him, and he just ah! like why does he scream like a bird? But he's, it's, a, he's kind of the the re, he's kind of the pussy of the predator race. What? But of the predator race. I mean, they're pretty badass. So he, how do he, you know that? Scared him. I'm just making that up. Okay, Jesus Christ. By no, way, you know what it is. It, it's it's like you know when you catch a big wave when you're surfing. It's like yeah. <laughs> All right. So he was yeah. like, this is yeah. He's like, wow. It's like the beginning of Crazy Train. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I got gotcha. you. Yeah. God, I love her. You did so good. I Jeez, told you you would. Time around. Didn't I tell yeah. you you would? You know, I mean, you like me, you fucked up the first time, but you got it right, pal. That's exactly <laughs> right. I, now, I, I did too. Jared, now, how many Predator movies have you seen? This totally? is my first one. You, wait, this is the first time you've seen this movie? I think I saw this maybe back in the Including day. Including Dateline? Oh, wow. But I did or, not. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole movie about catching them. If they had just watched that, they would have had an easier time. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. Catch a now, Chris Hansen, I've seen that hey, Chris Hansen, come on. Yeah. So, you've been yeah. wearing uniforms and shooting at You're going to want to sit down. <laughs> there, there is a Listen, Mr. Catch a Predator, Predator. Mr. Predator, you're going to want to have a seat here. Think, uh, you're welcome to go at any time, but we'd like to talk yeah. to you. So, Predators, with an S, is my favorite of these movies. <laughs> you can disappear trailer? if you like, yeah. but the you're in the database. It's uh, the one with the, the pianist the pianist in it. What's his name? Should have called it the organ. I think, Adrian Brody. Now, I think that Predators was the only Predator Lawrence movie Fishburne. I had fully watched ever before this, and it was so much different than this one. This one was like one that was on TV all the time whenever I was like sick in third grade, and you turn it on, and they made that creepy little noise, and I'd be like, nope, I'm just going to watch fucking Full House again. <laughs> like... <laughs> Well, so here yeah, talk we, about some predators. We like actually start to, they actually start to be able to see him, and then, <laughs> interestingly enough, the uh, 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 they will actually fast forward to a Terminator thing where he used to, that that laser would like show up on people and yeah. shit, mm-hmm. and here we see this triangle will just, will just show right. up on people, and you see it on Sweet Cheeks right there, if you're watching the feed, and. So this is a so little bit. Of, I love it. It's a little bit of foreshadowing, right? I mean, it's kind of cool. You see this yeah. thing on you, and then you know your head is about to disappear. And then, um, so a really bad thing happens, and uh, I'm worried about this. All right. So Apollo Creed's arm gets shot off. He he doesn't suffer for long. Well, no. Here's the thing. That's why he had to train Rocky to beat Clubber Lang. <laughs> ah! uh, this is the part where I said he took that well. Yeah, I don't know what y'all were talking about before. I just jumped in. <laughs> the best part of it is like his arm is just there and it's yeah. still pulling the trigger and shit. <laughs> right. And then he just reaches back and just pulls another gun out and starts. And then he died. Yeah. Now, uh, then after this, Billy has lost his goddamn mind. He goes out onto the bridge, takes his shirt off. And just cuts himself, right? Mm-hmm. My favorite special effect of the movie is when he wipes the dull blade on him and cuts it, and it's just red makeup that comes <laughs> right, across yeah, yeah. his chest or whatever. Yeah. You know, my kid went through a cutting phase. It's okay. What? Yeah. Your daughter did? It's a joke. No, okay, God I damn it. I All right. know. I didn't talk to her during I, this. I, I actually, <laughs> me either. Are you kidding yeah. me? They're in their room the whole time. Out of your but, fucking mind? Between marriages... <laughs> Um, I met a girl online that was into that, and I just, that's the first time I had ever heard of it. She was Wanted like, to cut of, you? Or well, I was like, up like, with you, Rich, you I'd be cutting, cutting myself, too. And I'm like, no. And she was like, well, I like when we're having sex that you're, like, doing a razor blade on my Shit. back. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's different than cutting. That is completely different than cutting. cutting now, did you like ask her about cutting the cheese? Because <laughs> that is such a good thing to do. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what it was. Run!
So I thought that was get to the chopper on the clips. That is get to the chopper. I know. No, there's another movie where he says that. Well, he actually says it again later in this movie. Yeah, Yeah, he he does. He said it earlier already. Okay, thank you, I didn't even know this was from this movie. No, that's Get to the chopper. <laughs> this... Up until he said get to the chopper, I thought all of that audio Nazi was version. from that like VHS you found in your dad's. Isn't get to closet. the chopper the one where uh what's her face like that uh, was in the movie with True Lies? Yeah, and she's hanging <laughs> off the th- yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis yeah. is Clearly hanging off the He thing. might yeah. say it ironically there too. I don't know. But I think is, he, I, I bet there's like seven one. movies he says it. All right, so here we get some yeah. side boob. You didn't like the side boob? This is actually I'd... a really good side boob. It, I thought so, too. I was the first one to acknowledge it. I was like, Can we that's see a good side boob. I mean, it is actual side boob. I that's mean, I my know, side boob. By good... Now, it was a good. lot it was of like, things... It was a good visibility. It had like a good swoop on the tank sure, top. Sure, sure, A little sure, bit sweaty, sure. not A too lot bad. of things happen here to Arnold. He gets like, he's, he gets thrown around a smidge or whatever. He has to swim again. He goes into a waterfall. You know, and then he he finds himself in a lagoon. He swims to the to the shore, and then guess what? This goddamn thing can fucking swim, and you still can't see him. Right. So you see just well, a little the, way uh, until the electricity uh, exactly you know, right. The back is, conductor. You, is that even what's on, going on? Yeah. yeah but it seemed like he could clear it really instantly by just pressing a button. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like he's, he's just kind of getting his wits together and all that. But in the meantime, old Mudface over there realizes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> old Mudface. He can't see him. Yeah, he can't see him anymore. Right. And so he's a, he lets him go off. And then guess what? You know, from our favorite movie, The Goonies. What booty, the fuck is a goonie? No, booty twaps. <laughs> booty twaps. <laughs> booty twaps. He starts to set booty twaps. Uh-huh. And... God damn it, if it doesn't fucking work later in the movie, I don't mean to give it away. Right. But Jesus Christ, he says some great ass fucking hate booty to spoil twice. a movie from 87. I do have a question, though. Now, hold on. Let me just let you guys know that Billy had gone out onto this bridge and taken his shirt off and cut himself. And right. you may yeah. have been wondering at this point if he was dead. At this point, we find out he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? 100%. Okay. Yes. The guy has died. <laughs> he doesn't make it to the chopper. Let's put it that That's way. That's it. Yeah. No, he did not get to the chopper. No. He agreed to sex stuff with that guy. Billy tender, didn't he? <laughs> does not support the podcast. Well, well if you remember, <laughs> if you remember, they got a little up the trail and heard, ah! Yeah, I don't think the yeah. Yeah. He just, got a, he just yeah. got a splinter. That's all. But was. you know what they did there, though, true, yeah. is they made that thing where his scream became them all sort of falling down and like yeah. a bunch of other stuff happening too. Called good editing, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, or just a fucking mess. Lazy. Uh, of a goddamn what, movie. But what's the deal with Billy? I mean, what, what what's with the you know growing a set and taking on the predator? Are they trying he to... He knew he was going to die. He said it earlier. We're all going to die. He's are like, they trying to die. make I him... I might as well go like a man. They're trying to make him like a tracker, right? Like a Native American. Yeah. And I'll bet yeah, it's you... it's very he, insulting. I bet you he thought that he was Native American. Here's why. They didn't have 23 and me <laughs> yeah. in 1987. I, I, I called Jane Andrews. He has a tea time. He's probably God, Italian. Son yeah, of a bitch. Out loud. He's Scandinavian. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, Jared always he's goes, a, he's the late cousin of Bjorn Borg. <laughs> <laughs> he always goes, Well, I'm also Scandinavian. Those are like Vikings and shit. I'm like, It's like point one. I mean, it's like it one really of your relatives one. like mm-hmm. licked one one time. Like, I that's it. Yeah, well, hey, at least I'm you're sure 99% something. I'm like, I, my parents fucked all over Europe. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm like, your I, parents I, I look like the wheel of fortune great, on my DNA your wheel. Your fucking great grandparents did, though. No, yeah. I got mine back. Like, I'm like literally, like physically, like just a super white human. Mine's like a big old pie chart. Spanish, yeah, Native me too. American, me too. European, like all these things. His is a blue circle. I'm a mongrel. <laughs> so funny. I'm a mongrel. <laughs> now, uh, here he makes a homemade bow and arrow. That can, Something you should know how to do. That can well, I could until December, and then I <laughs> fucking forgot, <laughs> and I can't do it anymore. <laughs> hey, here's the thing: I'd actually uh, like I had like quite a collection of like old like memorabilia from my family and shit from that. I, this twenty three and me comes in, fucking disappeared. I don't have anything. There's not one arrowhead no in this evidence. goddamn head <laughs> in this house at all. Mm. Now, um. He makes these bow and arrows that explode, right? Mm-hmm. Now, 
the predator likes to blow shit up too mm -hmm. because he has the two, two, right. two. There's lasers, right? Lasers. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, I the, love the shoulder gun, man. That's so badass. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, because it goes where you look. I yeah. know, but to me, it looks like a security camera. It's almost just like, hey, it's nineteen eighty seven. Yeah, but for eighty seven, that's kick ass. And exactly. Secures your safety. Right now, <laughs> here we see the predator corner, um, Conan the Barbarian, and he decides he wants a fair fight. So he yeah, they, it's there's a respect level now. Is he, he, there? Yeah, yes, that's what it is. It's like it's like okay, this this one has some game. This is what I came here for. I didn't come here to just nail fucking helpless people. But he comes I came there here for some action. Every hundred years, he comes there. That's gross. I don't yeah. do this. I don't know, is it hundred? Yeah, years? yeah. That's look what, what he has to go through to get one good fight. That, that's right. what this is. You know, it's like it's like finally I found my guy. I found I sat, the guy. I, that's I've been give me I've been out guy. here in this fucking jungle. It's like my version of a Holiday Inn Express. Uh -huh. There's shitty people coming through, and now we finally get a good guest. You know what? Uh, you know what's yeah. really fucked up is that like if this guy really did visit South America, like where he is right now. Imagine if he fucking stumbles into a place and discovers cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you imagine what the fuck would happen? Like, you'd be like, get... do, 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 well, everywhere. No, but he might not be all, like, murdering. Or... He could be, like, that guy that, like, at a party that's kind of a dick. Then he, like, goes to the bathroom and comes back. And he's like, man, I love you guys. This is the best yeah. night of my life. <laughs> or... Let's fucking hang out. Let's get married. Let's go fucking hang out. You <laughs> or he runs into the Contras who are all jacked on cocaine. And right. he's like, fuck this. Do you not think, though, that <laughs> like if, crazy. if this guy comes back to South America every hundred years, like you don't think like he's just like killed a village or some shit and like had like an empanada and just been like, Jesus Christ, this place isn't so bad. <laughs> Maybe empanada. I'll just I'm going to fucking Empanadas just. Empanadas aren't that good. I, they're they're so dry fucking good. They are not. Not if they're yeah. done well. If they're done well, they're so they're delicious. Why couldn't you Maybe say I'll like just manudo or something? What? You could have just said manudo or something. Well, it's uh, it's because uh, cinco latadona masadona at the shopping mall. That's, that's manudo. Maybe that he's the one that killed Serena. <laughs> Serena. Serena. <laughs> said Serena. Dude, it's Selena. Uh, whatever. Salinas. Sweet cheeks. What was your first? I'm just kidding. How old are you? He's asking. Uh, 20, I'll be 28 October 1st. Well, you guys are the same age. So you're 27. No, I turned 28 last August That's true. 7th, oh, yeah. like 28, a month finally? ago. Yeah. Jared, nice. how old are you? I did dude? not take it I well. I turned 32 tomorrow. Yeah, that up. When is Rob Lowe going to admit he's your dad? Wait, it, so my first Star Wars was when <laughs> they... My, my, my dad? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's a compliment. <laughs> it is. I'd much rather it be James Franco. But <laughs> Lex, do you what? know this dude cannot get a chick? He's like no. hung up on his old girlfriend. Yeah. He get is, the fuck out. No, dude. I'm not joking. Dude, let's just get into this right now. <laughs> Told you, you instead. Listen to me. So this guy, his girlfriend breaks up with him. She's fucking his friend who worked at the same place as him, right? And hold on. Get this. The friend he, didn't. The, the friend didn't tell him, and he conf, he's like confiding in the friend. My confiding in the friend, me. blah blah blah, and the friend's like, "Man, that's fucked up that's or whatever." Terrible, dude, I can't guess believe what? It. That's the dude that's fucking his girl, right? And then, so is he, he alive? Listen to me, Lex. He quits his job because that's where the friend works. So, because that's fuck where that. the I get it. Because fuck that. Yeah, but at this now, but he still wants her back. Listen, <laughs> good pussy's good pussy. Here we go. But, like um, you just called your shit. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. But, I but here's the thing, Colin. Dude, look at this face. It went and got new pussy when that happened to me. Right. <laughs> it, it, you just, you got to do it. You got. I mean, she, she's but, gone. But she's my best friend, Lex. He's got all the feelings, though. Yeah, I know he does, and and they're and they're totally valid. They but are. Lex, I had a connection you with her that I just singer? never had. Any I feel like with Adam other. Sandler and the Wedding Singer. That's not how that movie went down. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking Dude, of going down. Take the fucking shirt off before you jinx it. the band and they you, fucking break up. Take yeah. what? And you can't <laughs> sing either. So there. Can you not? Well, he can't. So Listen. that's Sweet Cheeks. That's him. The boy. Write this down in your notebook. She's gone. Oh. Go Aww. get a new one. All right. Dude, did you want to come on the show? We'll get you a new chick. 
Let's go. Yeah. First tattoo right there. L- lost the first love. Please go on we'll see Lex and all Terry. The feelings. Yes, go get a girlfriend on Lex and Terry. And go get yes, a girlfriend yeah. on Lex and Terry. He's saying he'll do it right now. Right, let's do it. Yeah. All right. Wait, wait. That's the thing. Can yeah. I what about that? Rich? No. Yeah. Rich needs a girlfriend. I'm not a miracle worker. I've been working for like five years. God damn it. He's not a miracle worker. No, but Rich fucking pulls ladies. That's the weird thing. Like. Yeah, oh, I, I, I can, pull them into the dungeon. I can pull them, but once <laughs> they realize that I have cats, and don't just don't talk about the Imagine cats. if you're Jared Spear. Are you it's just cat Jared Spear has 19 cats. cats. You Listen, guys are y'all you are goddamn fucking cat friends. You're gonna many, get hey, you know what night. though? I still land chicks. So <laughs> hey, Jared, you do. How, how many Anytime cats do you have? Let's let's fess up. I'm not saying the number. God damn it! <laughs> Too is, many. Is it more than ten number. or is it less than ten? How do you tell? Less than ten. So how do you tell the girl you have cats? But here's the. This is important. This is interesting. Wait. How do you tell the girl you have cats? I want like. You don't. When you you're like talking and she's like, so what do you got? Do you have animals or anything? I said, I'm a cat dad. You don't. No. Oh no. my God! You're, you're saying up. dad? You, no. you don't Christ. say that. cat dad. You, you don't bring that up. What the We're, fuck yeah. is wrong with you? I'm proud of it. I love my okay. pussies. Uh, you don't bring it up, man. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Jared, Jared, the cat man knows no, the rules. No, if you have to admit that you From have cats, out. you say I have adopted some cats. Now no. remember that, Jared. No. Remember that. No. Hold on, Lex. You have to know this about Jared over here. Now, Jared. <laughs> was babysitting some cats for ten, a girl ten, now they're mine. Cats. for a girl that he liked and he wanted uh, nothing to do to with date, him. By the way, what used, used uh, to date? It used to date, yeah. and now he. Ha- how many cats do you have now? Now they're mine again. I'm not saying the it's number. nine or okay. ten. It's less than they were ten. her we goddamn kits. Cats. Cats. Like, more than it. five, less than ten. I'll, I like I'll the mystery. That. It's eight. It's, it's more than it's five, eight. less than ten. It's eight. No. More than five, less than ten. How okay. many do you have? It doesn't matter. More four. than five, you're four, done. Four cats yeah. and then a Pekingese. You have you four cats? Like... Yes. What? what? Is you guys just like you guys you this. Do and... not bring it up. Huh? Can I be honest about something? Or is this the? Are you guys establishing a relationship as cat people? <laughs> cat dads. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I have four. I went outside. Y'all need to start your own podcast called Look, Cat Dads. It, it either oh. works in your favor. Listen, or it goes you don't have to you. apologize for having cats. That's how you get away. Here's the thing: you have to do with a girl. Is say, yeah, I have fucking cats. So what? That's <laughs> yeah. the way you do it. Totally agree. That's the way you do it. it right there. You, you don't up, apologize you, for it. You don't, you say, don't I'm their bring dad. It. Okay. As You're a not lady. their fucking dad. I, I'm a good guy. I have to take care of some fucking I cats. I even <laughs> kick them you know? occasionally. That's, 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 Honestly, that's, that's how I handle it if it comes up. That is literally exactly yeah. what I say. No. Yeah, I have some goddamn yeah, cats. And, and you also okay, don't one, bring them home. I don't know if I should change this. Absolutely not. So there I are have, hotels for a reason. I have a poster about that size above They're my not fireplace in Macon, Georgia, and it is a big picture of Scarlett Johansson like undressing, and it's it's not moving; it's staying there. But people get really offended by it. Why? What is? Because it's a hot chick in my living room. That's yeah. not why. Because it's bachelory. No. You're not a oh my god. Serious okay. Adult. I know I already like tuned up your t- fucking. I don't know, said Twitter. Tinder. Your Tinder account. But I'm gonna have to come and check out your apartment and fix From it. From now up. on, thank you, Casey. Casey. From now on, that's not Scarlett Johansson. That that's the first girl you murdered, Casey. <laughs> Casey. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Is, is, is my is God my place presentable it. for bringing? We got. Yeah, we got. As long hair as you get your rid chest, of the zebra pal. pillow, my place is very. That's clean. gone. That's been gone for years. Agree. I think your place being clean is badass, but I have to do. I do have to agree with him. It's like you're bringing. <laughs> A friend over who's a girl or whatever. Like, what? Why does she want to see that? Like, just make it dude, something they want, else. They want a man. They want. They want like what? a total. Di- I mean, dude, I have a two hundred inch projection screen movie theater in my house. Okay, Come on now. here's the question. Yeah. That's that not badass. That's great. Have you ever seen the if movie? You don't have. If I have you seen the movie it's Never a, So Deep or Nine Four Cats, <laughs> no. where uh, the scene happens where he says, "What a big cunt." <laughs> what a big cunt. <laughs> Is there an echo in that? Well, yeah, yeah. That, that one happens, and then he just goes, I only said it once. once so, once, once, what, once, what once. does a 200-inch projection screen have to do with being, like, a badass? If it's, I come... it, it's, it's basically a 200% chance he's not going to get laid. Yeah. <laughs> any, any, I haven't really I, used it since the any, breakup. Any guns? <laughs> like, I mean, guns or... Because she gets sucked into anything. still magnolias and doesn't want to fuck you. Tools. <laughs> We're going to have a talk later. Yeah, you, gotta, okay, Dude, you need to she, take pointers. Okay, you're going to be... A, I, think, I think you won't understand it, but... 
take some pointers from Rich, Thank who you. did who did the fucking Tinder thing for a long time. It was fascinating. We went to a party, like five girls were like sitting up waiting up to see who was going to be the one that stayed. But he did like he got a seventy inch fucking television and put it in his bedroom Lex. and had a regular one in his living room. So he'd be like, "Hey, you want to go? Uh, the good TV's in my room." Yeah. <laughs> and, like Lex, have you ever heard this worked. song? Listen to this. It worked. It's a true story. This is based on a true story. Listen. Is this a Scottish band? It all went down. Rich was on Tinder and his TV. 70 inch. He had some nights. He won't remember once in his house. I saw him dance. Do you know this song? Pitbull and Kesha, listen. Rich clickety clacked and got online. Made some connections, uh-huh. things were fine. Couple of crazies with really nice booze. And took one or two to brunch club too. Parts were licked, parts were sucked. Hates every single one of the Apple products. Once took a date to rock 101 Grill. Wants to like your music, but he never will. Tinder. Find a partner, older, young. Richest high standards, cock block slug. Find a partner, older, young. Richest high standards, cock block It all went down. Rich got off Tinder, but his TV. Now has some chairs. Yep. He likes to be passive aggressive, like you to think. <laughs> he doesn't care. It all went down. Rich was on Tinder and his TV. 70 inch. He had some nights. He won't remember what's in his house. I saw him dance. Rock about baby on the treetop. Once he had a party and he woke up to cop. The Chick fil A nuggets went really, really fast. But the chicken salad sandwiches seemed to last. <laughs> no, officer, we did not rape her. <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't. Now, someone says, Lex reminds me of a really cool Vince Vaughn, which is a good fucking compliment because oh, Vince Vaughn's that's pretty true. fucking cool. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a cool. Dude, I've met Vince Vaughn. A, he's fucking tall as shit, yeah. <laughs> but he's also really, really, really nice to everybody. And so, unlike Ben Stiller, what a fucking dickhead! I cannot believe that. I don't. I refuse to. Yeah, he's the worst. Simple now, Jack's an asshole. Who? Simple Jack. Simple Jack. Simple Jack. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's a he's dickhead. Just probably because people call him Simple Jack all the time, but Maybe. it could be. You I don't could be have wrong. Vince Vaughn's lips though. Vince Vaughn's lips are. Can we just say <laughs> this? No, he meant his voice. I'm sure he just I mean, like. I don't I, know. Can we just okay. say <laughs> when they start to fight that he takes his mask off, he unhooks all these tubes, right? It's like, it's yeah, like, yeah, it's well, like ripping off your earrings well, in a girl which fight. Which would be, it's like, <laughs> like to me, it's like when my uh, CPAP comes unplugged in the middle of the night. <laughs> and I'm like, you're not going to, you're going to start snoring, dude. You're going to, God damn it, don't do that. And he does it. And he, he comes changed in. the little CPAP mask and it has this thing that comes off of his nose. And I rolled over on it and it was like, <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> I see, he goes, you're on my trunk. <laughs> and I fucking laugh for like, yeah. I mean, longer than I'm proud of about that. I, I, mean, I mean, that fucking face looks like a pussy. It does. You know, with it's, teeth. Like, it's like if I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's like, I don't want my gooey fucking hand. Honestly, to be honest, if we're talking pussy right now, Lex, teeth. it looks like one of those ones when you're like 22 and you're like, am I going to do this? Or am I not? <laughs> and you just go. Also and you're like, those teeth aren't going to hurt. There's a movie They're called Teeth about hurt. a vagina with teeth. Yeah. yeah. It's called Teeth. And yeah. it's horrible. Yeah. It's <sighs> horrifying on top of that. That's mm-hmm. oh God. Can't I mean, that, I that looks like, like an old woman's beat up pussy, that face. It perfect. looks like the... It, not that I've seen that. Here's what it looks like. It looks but, like an octopus. <laughs> like, have you ever seen an octopus in A little bit, like a squiddy kind of... Yeah, yeah, it yeah. looks like an octopus, only octopus. he can... What are you... Octopus? So an octopus, if you look, it has a... <laughs> they have like these... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see it right here. Do it! Do it! Come on! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! Kill me! I'm here! Kill me! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! Come on! Do it now! Kill me! Oh 
shit. The Charlie's Angels. <laughs> Charlie's here, and so are the angels. It's so fucking late seventies to me. This, yeah. Oh my god! It just it. Is that when you thought the movie was made in the seventies? No, I actually thought in the nineties. I thought it was, newer, right? thought it was a nineties yeah, movie. I did too. And Seriously. as I was, it was so. As soon as I saw how young Schwarzenegger was, though, I yeah. was like. It's, and he's th- it, it, he was in, very chiseled in this movie. No, he's so yeah. thin. Oh, well, he was he's, Mr. Yeah, Universe yeah. at one point. Conan. <laughs> That's when he was Conan the Barbarian. He no, but speak, no, he before before he was Conan. even an actor. That's correct. Yeah. Before he, before he was even an actor, he was in, he was in those Joe Weider magazines, and, and you know had the Muscle waist beach, and the yeah. and then and he was right. He was he was Mr. Yeah, we yeah. before he was ever an actor. Yeah, I asked him while we were watching this. I said, because why? No, go ahead. Because I, was, they, 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 I read his book. They selected him for acting because he basically was this just big ass on a dude. on a bet. Yeah, <laughs> but he had the Harvey Weinstein said, kind "I of. bet I could they, fuck up a movie <laughs> and and fuck a girl at the like same time." Like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> is basically the Louisiana Purchase. <laughs> Kind of. You know what I mean? Like it's just like it's the greatest gamble of all time. Like, come on, let's do this. It's a card it's, it's game. Tra- it's trading places. Yeah, yeah. It's God, the Mortimers. Just I bet you a dollar I can make an extra out of this motherfucker. I'm so just, glad we're going educational now. Yeah, like, this is great. Right. Yeah. That just, makes you know feel what? Good it's a fucking card here. game. Let's see if he can be Conan the Barbarian. He doesn't even have to speak, right? And we'll get James Earl Jones, who will make a snake into a fucking arrow <laughs> and shoot it into the girl that he loves. What is his most serious movie he's ever done? Um, most serious. Like oh, it. no. It's the it's the zombie one. He was great in it. Zombies. What? His daughter. There's a movie about him. Terminator's uh, the most serious movie. No, no, no. The, uh, I'm telling you. I think he's right, actually. Total what, Recall. I would say Total Recall uh, over Terminator. Expendables. Do you no, know what's why? What's the most recent? There's like a really recent one. It's the name of a girl. This is the name of the movie. Really recent? Yeah, really recent. Like in the 2010-ish. Maria. Well, while you're looking that up, can I tell you why Terminator is one of the greatest marketing, like, great movies of all time? Uh, I I think it's the greatest because I can do Reese. Well, hold on. It's because he's It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't (laughs) feel pity or pain or remorse. Right. It's because he's a bad guy, though. Yeah. The fact that we all fell in love with Maggie. this guy who was there to kill everybody. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean everybody. And then they well, had just John to Connor actually, so they, they had to make him a good guy. In the second one because it was like, dude, we fucking love this dude. It's like Darth Vader. It's like had they figured out a way to make him a good guy? Darth Vader is the greatest fucking villain of all well, time. Well, he was originally Yeah, they did a good make him guy. a good guy. They just did it all fucking after backwards. he was dead. Quentin Tarantino yeah. sure. Yeah. But Darth Vader's the greatest villain of all time. It can it can anybody match that? Who's Jafar the better? Scar or Scar from uh, Lion King? Ooh, no, what? with him. No, nope, nah. I'm on his side. Scar from Lion King. I'm with you. I'm with Scar you. from Lion King never wins. Dude, that shit came up today on Lion Guard. I'm with him. It still hurts. Nah, Scar doesn't. I'm still mad, and he comes back. Scar kills the the king or whatever, but he never rules anything, and everything that he rules yeah, he is does. shit. He destroys the king. No, the best villain of saying. all time is fucking uh, the guy in Die Hard. Come on, Hans man. Hans Gruber. Yeah, Hans Gruber all the way. What? He's yeah. a genius. <laughs> Yeah, best, best, genius, fucking best fucking villain ever. Best fucking villain ever. He dies. Well, Jared doesn't awesome even manner. think it's a, a, a Christmas movie. Okay, so I there. just looked it's up. Not a I just typed movie. in. Thank you, Lex. Christmas. I just God, typed in into Google movie. just just straight up movie villains, and the first one that comes up is Hans Gruber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's the best. All right, so the best movie he was in to answer your question is a movie called Maggie, where his daughter um, contracts whatever disease turns people into zombies. And it's not an action movie at all. It's a hundred percent emotion from start to finish, and he's remember, absolutely great. I remember the scene when he told her. He said, "Wake up, Maggie. I have something to say to you." <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, I don't want to backtrack. <laughs> By the way, he's coming out with another Conan movie. What? He's playing Conan in The Legend of Conan. He's got to get back in shape for that. I don't want to backtrack too nice. much. But the first animated one on the list is Scar, mm-hmm. by the way. Just so you know. Scar on the list Scar, of the villains. So Scar's not, not even like as good 10. as Scarface. Oh, Agreed. What about, yeah. what about Thanos? No. Sorry, what? a fucking cartoon's no. not the best the, villain. The movie version of Thanos is not Ooh, the best Ooh, what about villain. Voldemort? <laughs> So he didn't die. That's crazy. Yeah, that's like a nuclear bomb. I don't care what you just jumped over. Here out. Good day. how big this plume is. Yeah. You didn't yeah. jump over a tree to dodge this fucking plume. Yeah, I know. That's not, no, that's yeah. not how this works. And if you did, you're so fucking eaten up with radiation. Yeah, it's it not how any of this works. Yeah. Also, there is no way you go from <laughs> to <laughs> Hold on. Wait, here's my impression <laughs> of what just happened. Okay, so... You're going to talk to me the, like that in oh, wait, my Hold bar. on. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> so here it is. So, like, he's like... And he goes... Shit blows up. Face Stacy writes. I'm sorry. Uh, no, we're not oh, that yet. Wait, can you put that over him actually laughing? Like, over him? All right, laughing? let's do no, that clip can't. again. No, we can't. We can. Oh, okay. Do the clip again. That is pretty damn close. All right, here we go. This is David Dooley over Predator. Here we go. Now, right now, Predator is, is going to kill himself. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh fuck! I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out. Ah, click, 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 click. Space Invaders video game. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Writes. Hold on. No, <laughs> <laughs> Rich, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's back up just it's a second. It's a classic movie. I, I, yes, it's laughable because it's from 1987 or whatever. It's actually a really good movie. It's, I get it. I totally get it. It started totally a franchise that I think completely kicks ass. Agreed. I love the Predator franchise, and I love how they mixed it with the Alien even though that everyone doesn't like the alien versus predator, but aliens, I yeah. I like that it's in the same universe. Right. What's now alien versus predator? What happens? They're just those two, and they just yeah. Fight? It's like in the it's Antarctic exactly or something. Like. 
But I, I actually liked the movie. It was fine. So there's no talking? Uh, yeah, there's, like there's people. Like Sean over there. There's people in there. No, it's kind of like America. They lock them up together. There's aliens like a drilling predators. thing in oh, Antarctica, God. and then they run across this this whole thing, and the aliens are <laughs> fighting the predators and all that kind of shit. It's preposterous. This reminds me of a uh, uh, Jurassic World or Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, a little bit. Can I ask you guys Why, this now? Cats in it? Again, <laughs> can I ask you guys this at the end of this movie though? Yeah. Did we really need the spaceship thing at the front? No. No, I agree. No, no. I, I don't. No. In fact, I don't know I, why they did that. I think it actually took away from the movie, to be honest. I think it made me just keep like guessing, like, okay, is the ship gonna come rescue him or is he is he stranded or yeah. are they gonna find the ship? Well no, yeah. that's not even why it shouldn't have been there. You should have not known it had anything to do with aliens now, until the yeah. alien shows up. What I'm saying is correct. It's just like that, that yeah he's there but like the spaceship is just like okay. They so should, they should show is. the spaceship coming towards Earth at the end when they see the mushroom cloud it turns back nope. around. <laughs> I know. They could have saved it for the ending like the post credits and then have another ship coming down. That would be yeah. cool. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Literally that same Let's scene after the credits, yeah. Or cut to a scene on the on the Predator planet where they tell his wife that he's not coming home. <laughs> hey, uh, before we carry <laughs> on here, <laughs> I want to <laughs> thank <laughs> everybody for sharing. If you shared our post, we're going to say your name. So it, when I, I realize it's hard to find us on Facebook now because Rich has been in jail for so long. It's still out there. Oh, I, it is? I can't tag, though. Okay, God damn it. Shut yeah, the it fuck up. It won't let you tag Jared Ghost. You to too. All right. Wait, wait, what? It yeah, won't, won't let, let you tag Jared goes to the movies. What does that mean? Why? It won't let you know. find it. Yeah. Nobody on it. that side of the room's tagging anything. The, what? The fan page still works. Good point. Yeah, but you can't like if I'm gonna if I discussion. like when I posted today that I was gonna be here, it wouldn't Rich. let me do the name. It wouldn't let me tag the name of the page. That makes me mad. Yeah. yeah if you put that at, it will let you do I, at Jared goes to the movies on the computer. It wouldn't let me do it. Huh? It does on my phone. Well, thank you everybody for sharing. Face Stacy, Nigel Watson. Joey Bishop, Barry Ferguson, Woody Joey Chambers Bishop. on his goddamn fucking 10th fucking the trip. Planet. Woody, thank Woody, you. You're Woody, the guy. Thank you. Nine. That's an odd number. Sean, go um, back, diddle, ba, ba, boom, back, get up, my Ray Jimenez, Grant Hill, my favorite basketball player of the uh, 1980s. 90s. 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 Jake Bradford, Wendy Croft, Simon Rogers, Jared Spear, who's right the fuck over yeah, there. Thanks for sharing. Rod on James, Wendy Mitch Cruff. Bergeron, Wendy Cruff. Person Carr, Chris yeah, Pulse, yeah. Andy Yerman, Ronnie Clement, and Austin, Mark, Graff. Sweet Woo! Cheeks, he's right there. Pool boy. Single. single. And he's single. <laughs> Let's check the Facebook page. Face Stacy writes... Just listen to the Do Over podcast. I totally loved Casey's way of dealing with mean girls. So perfectly bitchy and twisted. I need to train my girls to yep. do it. Love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. There you go. If you can't train them, I will train them. I'm going to do a YouTube <laughs> live seminar. There you go. But you do have to pay me. That's the whole thing. Ah, yeah, to teach it. your you children yeah, how to be She's not assholes. free. I should do, yeah. Make it a VHS. Let's check the email box. Email us at Jared goes to the movies at gmail.com. <laughs> Face Stacy writes Hi, guys. I meant to message you before and forgot, but now the kids are back to school. Everything is easier. Anyhow, I got my 15 year old daughter, Reagan, to watch There's, uh, There's Something About Mary with me. And we listen to the podcast together. I'm so sorry. Oh, Holy no. I'm no. so sorry. On a long journey. I'm glad to say she shares my chair, uh, childish sense of hum humor and thought it was hilarious. I'm looking forward to seeing Jared in Sheffield in a couple of weeks. Hey, we're doing it. Do it. Uh, Ronnie Clement of Colon Blow Band writes, Hey guys, I'm not sure if you're still looking for a Will replacement for the show, but I vote for Shannon. As soon as I heard she was on the show for Gone Girl, I knew it would be a good show. If she is not available for full-time replacement position, at least keep her on the short list for filling. Well, Jared screwed that up. Uh, that's my did two I? cents. <laughs> did he say that? No, I said that. How did I screw it up? 
Mm. Let's check the email. <laughs> P.S. There it goes. The Casey, movies. in regards to the listener email from Tim from Maine and his comment about Bowling for Soup not coming to Maine, uh, lighten up on the exclamation point. Me? Yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't it's, know what that means it's either. It's not that bad up here. To prove it, I wrote you this little stolen ditty. Did okay. you want to? Our you news guy's from Maine. Yes, it is that bad up here. Did you want to sing this? I put it on your I thing. Uh, what is it? Oh, I'm seeing it now. If you're needing a break. Oh, sure. Do I? Oh, let me get a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a guitar? Or should I just sing it? It's up a to you. To I'll sing it if you want me to. Okay, go ahead. I don't really want to. I want sing you to it. do it, Rich. I don't know how to. Yeah, they'll... because you know what? This Shannon thing's actually bothering me. You're okay. saying no, that. No, I want to talk about the song. This is mine. Casey. I got a PS. I never get you're mentioned. You're saying that I, I'm responsible for the whole Shannon explosion thing? I, I don't. Time to break out some Henry Gross. I don't know. So Shannon I lis- I is gone. To it. I listened to it on the way here. Did y'all? She said that y'all. She... Te- I have no idea what y'all texted about, but she said y'all texted about something. Well, hey, you screwed. It up definitely the... didn't Ooh. seem like it was my fault. You screwed up. <laughs> no, this, she was uh, really nice in all the, the text messages. That she was. Okay. Uh, the episode seemed fine, except for you kept giving her shit because she read the book and watched the movie. You kept giving her shit about that. Yeah, but that's normal. But I, yeah, that's what I figured too. It just sounded like a normal conversation. Sounded good. I mean, do you really but want somebody when you We're really fine. want somebody that was on during Gone Girl coming back anyway? <laughs> she, 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 well, she we were a, all there. Well, it's <laughs> actually I mean, so funny to have on this. Lex, show. here's the thing. Yeah. So it's Rich's ex-wife. That was my ex-wife. Oh, oh, my the first ex-wife. one. And yeah, that had nothing to do with you then. No, he's made her a character <laughs> on the show. She's been on here like three times, three and times. apparently last time... You were a little rough on the beer. You, you told me to, I could have the text where you told me to do it. What's no, I said, you can ask about our daughter. That's all I said in the text. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, what's a beaver? I was giving, I was given fucking, I, I was told that I could just ask anything I wanted. And no, I that's fucking, not what I said. I said, you can ask about our daughter. That's the, what right. the text said. So Read apparently it. I didn't. No. Oh. She thought right. you were a little rough on her. I would think that I apologize step for one it. of that whole situation, and I usually am pretty much middleman of the situation. I miss the semen in my butt. <laughs> step one of all of that would probably not be bringing all of the fucking info here and then bringing yeah. her back on the show. Correct. Which is kind of what happened. Let's just, right, right. Let's I agree not, with that. Our don't, show's an open book. It's kind of hard. Sometimes shit sucks. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't bring it that. in here. God, no. this sounds so familiar. It, 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 yeah. But it was, it was like two minutes that you guys talked about it and then moved on. Don't bring yeah, it here I anymore. cut a lot out, but it, yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah. We've had fist that, fights over two minutes over the years. Uh, the edited show sounded yeah. fine. It, it there wasn't yeah, it, even the outtakes, it wasn't. The edited show. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Are you going to sing now or what's going on? Do you mean to do it with a guitar or no? Okay. Can I sing with you? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. You, you got to read it. Do it with me. Do yeah, it. but you have to play you the see bass it? part in your... I don't know the bass what? part. No, he doesn't have the info. I was kidding. I was kidding. I don't know how to play them. If you're Literally. needing a break. Yeah, go ahead. A little, a little time, time to think. Think I'm on to Portland and bring the whole band. We go to drink. That's pretty good. <laughs> we can go for a drink. I like that. I don't don't correct me on the... I like to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I'm actually the Grammy nominated guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not you. There's did, also a I bunch of gold of records up earlier. here. That's All right. Awesome. I got okay. nominated for a Marconi once. Sometimes I mean. it's more <laughs> You know what, thing? though? Yeah. I won a Draw Scary Witch contest in, in a kindergarten. Which Blue t- totally tops a Marconi in my book. All I got. There's nothing wrong with the state of Maine, <laughs> except the snow in the rain. <laughs> That's a good fucking rhyme. Yeah. That That's is a true, Tom DeLonge too. one right That is there. also true. We have some kick-ass lobster, <laughs> and if you're a monster, they'll s- is that what, monsieur? If you ask any monsieur. <laughs> they'll say that we're not lame. That's true. Okay, can I be honest? That's pretty damn good off the top of your head. What? Did I say something? I've never even been to Maine. Did I say it's something? That's, that's so whole when thing. you're it's done doing other states beautiful. and you're through... Doing your English mates, <laughs> Cumberland <laughs> County will be right here waiting for you. How about this? I'm saying, please be my main squeeze. 
You're writing alternate lyrics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you do Come play the state of Maine. It's just not the same since you never came. We actually have been there. Oh, you have? This yeah, we have been really there. Good. This is historically yeah. inaccurate. We it's have a funny <laughs> accent, just like y'all in the Lone Star State. There's a seat for you on Old Archer Beach, <laughs> and most of the girls have shaved. Besides, <laughs> the lobster bait sucks south of here anyway. Also yeah! P.S. We have been to Maine. Hey, thank you guys for listening to the show. I want to say thank you to uh, Sweet Cheeks for being here. And also, oh yes, what do you want to say? It's midnight. Happy birthday. Oh, happy, birthday, oh, happy birthday, Jared Spear! Happy birthday! It's your fucking birthday! Nobody it's told me! It's your fucking me. birthday! Yeah. You got cake and balloons God damn and everything. It. Nobody if she told me! Known, if she would have back, known it was your birthday, it'd be dude, fucking crazy. Dude, I would have birthdayed home, so I've been, hard! I've been 32 for an hour back home. P.S. So. Dude, here's the thing. I'm really I good at balloons. I would sing happy birthday, but I can't under contract. <laughs> <laughs> because people would think you, you could, would you would win tickets and shit. You can do it off my What about Feliz Navidad? Uh, That's Christmas. Yep, yeah. that's a different thing. Jesus Christ. You counts. tried your best. <laughs> Feliz cumpleaños you really is what you're thinking of. Yeah. Right. Ah, Feliz key. <laughs> All right. What's the one that awesome. Benigan says? Happy, happy birthday. Blah, 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 blah. Hey! Happy, happy birthday. Hey! Blah, 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 blah. From Benigan to you. So, hey! We're basically going to a strip club after this, right? For his birthday? Uh, No. I don't like strip clubs, so no. I'm not. I'm going to watch football tomorrow. That's what is it with you guys? You Baby, got cats in the room. You don't go to strip clubs. Jared, club. Jared today's is Friday. Porn. Man, you're Porn like is... the millennial poster children over here. Club. Go ahead. <laughs> ah. I'm not. Bah. Don't touch any of the natural butts. Just hey, the guys. Ones. Thank you so very much, Lex. Yes, sir. This come is a big back, deal yeah. to me. Yeah, thank you so much. It's a big much. deal to me, too. I, I got to come back. Hey, American Jesus. Beauty is all yours. I mean, if I didn't overstay my welcome or whatever, I'd love oh to come back. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm I'm not kidding. We would love to have you anytime. And, I mean, I, I don't want to overstay my invites, but please come back sometime. And also, dude. get Sweet Cheeks a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, dude. You... <laughs> what are you doing after this, huh? Uh, <laughs> Sweet Cheeks, uh, I uh, fucking uh, love I, you. Casey? I love you more. Thanks. Jared Spear, I'm so happy that we're about to go downstairs and have a beer together. Absolutely. Happy, happy it's birthday. It's fucking oh, great. I might stay for that. Yay! Uh, Silent Sean, God damn it, I fucking love you. Rich. Sean, you're the best. You're okay. Sean, you're less beardy. <laughs> Good night, everyone, and drive safe. <laughs> Guys, we will see you down the road. <laughs> I like you more than a friend. Oh, I like you more than a friend. Most of all, Thanks. we'll see you down the road. <laughs> 